Go Loud presents the Talking Bollocks podcast. Go Loud! Go Loud! What you waiting for? What you back in it? Just a little more. Oh, you yeah, with it now. Fill your body, your head. Walk it hard and long. When you finish that. The hip knocker. Right, what's happening? Episode 42 of the Talking Bollocks podcast brought to you by Go Loud, the home of Irish podcast. It's me, Terry Flower. It's me, CLB. And this week we're joined by... Do I say my name now? Yeah. All right. Joe, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Joe McGuckin. Joe McGuckin. Joe, Joe McGuckin, McGuckin uh, makes a few sketches here and there with the wind-up merchants, has a podcast called Stale, Shy. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> the reason why I'm saying that is because uh, they're under Go Loud as well. And the we're boys in the same stable. We're in the same stable. It's like Biggie Till Pack this year. Yeah? No, but there's the no competition. There's no competition. Oh, I know, yeah, we're wiping the floor with us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. The only problem I have is the boys at Go Loud are going out buying you pizzas and all before a podcast. Yeah, what's, the story with that? what's the story with them giving you video podcasts and, and well, the studios you're... and everything? We're shoved in the back room to bleed and have conversations in a box. <laughs> yeah. Well, look. In the box room with the guy. Leading in the door and he's like getting look at that six tellies and I don't have six tellies in my gap you just have six tellies, tellies in the bleeding studio it's like the living room in here isn't it <laughs> in fairness we got enticed to sign this deal it was like listen lads you're going to be the first uh, podcast on board this is a unique contract nobody's getting this contract and I was like no way Terrence we're a deal we're at the game <laughs> went home put up on Instagram yeah by the time that loaded up and refreshed Darren Conway had the same picture up <laughs> signing the deal Adrian Kennedy had the same picture up signing the deal yeah. everyone got a podcast it was like fucking Oprah you get a podcast and you get a podcast <laughs> anyone want the podcast just email darlingclearly at goaloud.ie and he'll sort you out and do you are thinking you are special oh, do you yeah. know what I mean <laughs> fucking joker we guess is. we fuck yeah. all job but here we are making up the numbers isn't it yeah, mm. yeah. so how are you Good man, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm good. good. Yeah, yeah. Well. yeah, a bit yeah. nervous now that you're like going nervous. in. Jesus, there's no yeah. no waiting around. Just, just straight in, yeah, no kissing. <laughs> what do you think we were going to be doing? Off. I should have, I should have, uh, I should have known. <laughs> should have done your homework, yeah. right? What have you got? Are you going to us? Uh, we're just going to have to explain, right? Go, you explain. So if you're listening to this, I will more than likely be on holiday. Hopefully, if I get out of the country. Yeah. So Where are you going? I'm going to Mexico. Oh, it's going to be in Mexico when this yeah, goes nice. out. So hopefully... Do you have a PCR test going over there? Uh, uh, mm, or did he just let anyone in? I'm not too sure. I don't know. You can get, Anyone can get in. It's getting back. That the, that's probably get, the so trouble. So I need to get an uh, antigen test because I'm flying from Barcelona. So you don't need that. And then to go from Barcelona to Mexico. But coming back, I will. Yeah. So yeah, Grant, I don't need to worry about it when I get to Mexico. Oh, when, I, when I get to Barcelona, I don't need to worry about it anymore. But coming back, I will. You'll have more things shoved up your nose than a Christmas yeah. party. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> well we're on that this speaking year. Speaking of Christmas <laughs> parties, I'm really looking forward to our Crimbo party this year. Oh, it should be interesting, yeah. But anyways, yeah, so hopefully if you're listening to this, I'm going to be on my holidays. So we had to do three podcasts in one week to fill the backlog. Yeah. The devil works hard, but talking bollocks works hard, our. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, we don't have any results for any zingers. Because the previous week could be Sussel's week, which we done yesterday or the day before. Yeah. So we don't have any results, but we'll hit Joe with the same. Zingers, zingers anyways. And just see what the story is, and then we'll just give out the results. Joe can speak off. on behalf of the public. Right, yeah. I will. I'll be Mr. Public. So, Joe. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you prefer? Barbecue wings or hot wings? Buffalo wings. Buffalo wings all day. Yeah, barbecue well, wings is that. disgusting. Isn't sweet. It? sweet. No, no, I'll nice. have I'll have barbecue wings. They're barbecue wings warm. is very uh, Texas. Oh, don't be at that, bro. Yeah. You, got told, buffalo, you, you, got told to, you got told to plug that. I know he did. No, yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know the zinger was coming. I didn't know the zinger was coming. And buffalo, is buffalo not in Texas? Or is buffalo is a... It's a place in Texas, is it? No, Buffalo is Buffalo is north of New York. Oh, right. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's Buffalo not in New Jersey, actually. It might be, yeah. 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 But, yeah, but don't be bringing Texas up, boys. Yeah. Barbecue, nice old Texan barbecue. <laughs> mm. Put some wings on the barbecue. And <laughs> 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 but uh, yeah, look, and barbecue then, or hot wings. Yeah, and then it was belch or burp. Burp. 
Bob, Belch, the Burp yeah. fella. Bob, yeah. Burp, yeah. Burp, 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 if I heard an Irish person say French fries, they got to dig on. You are going to say for someone, so someone texted the gin cabin was going to say because we were literally out, out with you. Yeah. I said, no, so I refuse to do that. That will not be, never a, be a thing on this a, podcast. A, a, French a, fries a, are chips? No, like. not that one. A quilt or a duvet. And that's going to be next week's one, oh, I promise you. Can't, you can't be but a that. quilt or a duvet is two different things. So the duvet is like filled with feathers or whatever, filled with stuffing. And then the quilt is just like a heavy blanket, no? Well, yeah, but Every we, day's a skill, we don't mate. really get into heavy detail about <laughs> okay, it. Right, okay, we just right. Carl oh, puts toasties in the microwave. No, yeah. that was a zinger before. Yeah. And, it w- and, it, and someone only the other day texted us, there's a flight. Someone the other day only texted us and said, <laughs> uh, I'll get distracted by that all podcast. <laughs> Who opened that wallet? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but uh, someone only texted us the other day and said, uh, Toasty in the microwave is a game changer, lads. And that was like episode three or something. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was really. Is it not mad soggy? No, we only do it for about. 10 seconds just to melt the cheese in the oven and you keep the bread mad crisp then. Oh, so you toast it and then microwave it? Yeah, to melt the cheese. Fucking side oh, That's Jules, way too much effort, yeah. yeah no, it's actually less the, effort. Under the grill. Yeah, and you're saying mine is too much effort? That's under the grill. That's. <laughs> what, what do you do? I just George Foreman mind. Yeah, yeah, George well, Foreman. Okay, then you bro. have to clean the George Foreman and all. Yeah, fuck yeah. That. Just a slap of a baby wipe or something. No, what's a clean the George <laughs> Foreman with? It's too hot. It's too hot. You have to wait for it to cool exactly, down. Exactly, and that's and him whatever. That's yeah. how Terrence brushes his teeth. Oh, slap yeah, of a baby wipe. You <laughs> got them put in for a year ago. Slap you don't of need baby. to. You no, don't need to. Fresh as a flower. <laughs> right. Well, anyway, as you say, belch. Yeah, yeah belch. Belch. like a normal yeah, person. Yeah. Right, Shingo said, have another Shingo. Oh, we have one. Do we have to tell tell mine now? Go bang your jingle. Yeah, just yeah, just because I was talking about uh, American ones. So what about nappies or diapers? Who calls it a diaper? Now who, who, who the fuck call, no. name three people that call it a diaper? That one. you know. Um, uh, Thoughts. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> no, right. So that's gonna be a jingle. Yeah. Shall we put it out there? For well, I have another one. Have another one then. Nutella or chocolate spread? Are we having uh, a <laughs> Do you know what Calvin likes that one a lot Chocolate uh. spread is just Chocolate spread to me Yeah So not Nutella It could be uh, It could be the oh, little one Or the Aldi one Or Nutella yeah. It's just yeah. chocolate spread it, it? It, yeah. Come here if I got, Say if I got something right And I put chocolate spread in there And then I put Nutella spread On the other one Put them down beside you Would you know the difference well, you should do you, you, this is a video podcast. Like, you should you should do that. A taste do that. test. A taste test. Yeah. Yeah. But see if what, you can tell the difference between little or Aldi. Would you or... know the difference though? No. No. It's no. Just no, no chocolate it's chocolate spread. Chocolate spread. Yeah. They were a bit of a nutty taste to it, isn't it? Yeah. They're yeah. all the same. Yeah. It's all the same. Yeah. Yeah. But we'll put the two of them out. So new teller, a chocolate spread, and a nappy or a diaper. Yeah. Be prepared for stick chow. You're getting. You're gonna get a bit bad. Yeah, that's bad. The diapers one definitely. The chocolate spread one. It's not too bad, but it's bad enough. Go on. You. You said you had one. Yeah, I have one, yeah. Right. <laughs> See when I, I thought I did, no, we didn't use it. See when I give you a mate a lift over the wall? Yeah. yeah. What's it called? Yeah. A bunty. Yeah, a bunty. Yeah, is, yeah. is it a bunty or a boost? A boost. Uh, it's a bunty. Yeah, yeah. A boost is a million. bar. A boost is a bar. Yeah, yeah. Bo- but they're morals. I call them moral they bars. Yeah, no, they, they're boost now and they used to be moral. Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Morals yeah. are what? Have you seen the men of a moral? They're bleeding huge. Imagine think... getting a bang with moral, boys. Oh, I like getting a belt of a spring band the back of the face. Huge. bar. A line bar would be like getting... A line bar, a I tell you, it'd like a blade baseball bat with nails in it. Yeah, yeah. Smack yeah. it, see all the nuts and all in a bro, touch it. Did you ever try bite one of them? Yeah. 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 That's, 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 that's how he had to get his teeth. <laughs> that's why he had to get them done. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, people are saying boost and all, boys. Remember you giving someone a bunty and you were like, right, go, and you're... You lock your fingers together and yeah. you're like, no, let me check the bottom of your runners and all. Make yeah, sure there's yeah, nothing yeah, on their yeah, runners. Yeah. People wiping their runners and all. And yeah. then so get... I think that's a bunty, but I think if you remember you used to grab someone by the legs and the arse kind of and, and lift them up, I think that was a boost. Ah. And then that was a bunty. I think subconsciously we used to do that without actually realising we were doing that because yeah. we would actually probably call that a boost. Ooh, what do you call when you run up and climb the wall? Now like, relax with the zingers, Joe. Yeah, I don't I know. know if this is a zinger, <laughs> but like, is, is there different words for it? Scale the wall. No, no. lep in the wall. Lep the wall, yeah. You lep the wall. Le- 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 what, if you just run and jump on the wall? You yeah, run yeah. and you kind of push your foot off the wall and yeah, then you grab yeah, the top. Yeah, yeah, you grab it. You're not scaling though. Scale would just literally be climbing from a still yeah, starting position. Uh, that's just what I'd call it. I never heard of lep the wall. Lep the wall, yeah. You're going to lep over that. Yeah, lep the scale it, boys. So is that going to be the zinger? Lep the wall, scale. The wall. Yeah, well, hell, like that, yeah. I'm gonna give a little shout out to Thomas Hell, the fella's like Spider Man, he climbed out. 
You want to see him when we are younger? It's just literally, we'd be there giving people bundies and what have you, and he'd be already up on top of the wall. Yeah. And like, how did you do that? And he's like, you just do this, and you do that, and you do this. He was like, uh, do you ever see that fella who's climbing buildings and all? He'd yeah, be climbing he's like, a Spider-Man yeah. fella. Yeah, it's just like a plain sheet of glass, and he climbs up, and like, what are you gripping on there? Yeah. <laughs> I, had fr- I had a friend that was class at climbing, and he was just great for Halloween. Collecting yeah, that's what Thomas is get like. Get over there and yeah, get all the tires. Thomas is like that. Yeah. Just animal. Just yeah. animal at climbing. Left 20 foot walls. Yeah. And just, yeah, freak. A freak. <laughs> I just don't know how they do it. That's just mad. Right, them. Yeah. Lep now. That yeah. never ever heard of that. Lep the wall. Never. That's mm. mad. That. That's very strange. Yeah. yeah. Right, so Except the D1 thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, you was in a D1, no? Oh, yeah. yeah I'm here, I flunked doors yesterday where half the flats is D7, half the flats is D1. Isn't that mad? That is weird. Yeah, mm. mad. So my block And you know D7. what's weird? The block that's actually closer to town is D7, mm. and the one that's for that is D1. Yeah. So the one that's actually closest to the rotunda is that, D7. That would have been my block, yeah. Which is D7, and then the one that's for that way in the rotunda is, is D1. It's mad, isn't it? That's so, weird. My, so the flats that I'm in, I, the fl- I, I was, you know where I'm from, yeah? Dunstree. Ho- yeah, I'm from Dunstree Flats. Did you want us to mention that? I'd- I don't mind, yeah. yeah Leave right. it out if you want. <laughs> no, no. Well, but the other, there's three blocks in there and like two of them are Clarence Street Flats mm. and then one of them is Dunstree Yeah, flats. I always used to get what? confused with that. the same flats? Yeah, I used to get yeah. confused with that because we used to say you're going to Clarence Street or Dunstree. You were always going to them flats. I yeah, didn't know yeah. why. I just thought like Clarence Street was the old name yeah. for Dunn Street or something like that. I think the flats on the North, Sa- North Strand side is called Dunn Street, but then there's just this bastard block of flats just attached to the side of Clarence th- Street. It doesn't belong to either of them, like, you know? Yeah. They even, like, they, you, you used to be able to get through them, but then, like, they The ones that's the closest gate. to the Bridge Tavern. Yeah, yeah, so they're Clarence Street. Yeah, and then the one that's around the other side. Yeah, yeah, because they separated them then with gates yeah. to stop cars and stuff going through, but, like... Yeah, yeah, that's mad. Is, that is a weird one for you. Now, mad. It's mad hearing Joe saying he's from flats because I said to him when he walked in here, he dresses like he's from the south side. Yeah, well, the Skinny gentrification, Jane, isn't it? <laughs> gentrification. Because he got fed up again, pulled by the police. Yeah, but May hell, hell, listen. Where vans? What? Fuck off! New balance, man. They got new balance, Joe. Very comfortable, man. It's comfortable, yeah. uh, styled. You know, you had kids. Yeah, yeah. Because you're saying stuff like that's a real dad thing to say. Yeah, yeah. How old are you, Joe? Thirty-one. Just yeah, I touch on, yeah, I touch yeah, on. Yeah. I you're getting to that age where you move into the jeans and you don't give a rat about what you're wearing. Oh, but all. I wore jeans when I was like 17. Yeah, because he knew. Do you know what I mean? If I wear a tracksuit, I get put by the police. If I wear jeans, I don't. Yeah, that's a fair point. And that's what happened. I thought, uh, my friend that you know, Daryl, he used, oh, he used Shout to... Shout out to Daryl Carter, by the way. How is he not being mentioned in this podcast for? Daryl is a fucking legend. Go so on, when though. I started hanging around with him, I used to wear tracksuits and stuff like yours. But then, uh, <laughs> ah, but then right. he <laughs> ah, right. no problem. Grand. Let's wrap this up now. Yeah. <laughs> but he wore jeans and shorts and shorts like rolled up, and I thought that's real cool. So now he started wearing jeans. So you copied Daryl? His style, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do that a lot, yeah. Daryl, <laughs> we know. But uh, Daryl, yeah, Daryl is the same. I think that's mad. Yeah. She's from the same area as us. But yeah, I well. never actually got around doing me singing. I'll just let you know. Oh, go on, go on. Oh, on, sorry, on. sorry, go sorry. Yeah. <laughs> just, that's a good sign when the conversation's yeah. flowing. Whenever, yeah, whenever he's at ready, yeah. We're at the end of about 30 How do we walk this stuff? We just hold them all. <laughs> but whenever this episode all. comes <laughs> out. Simple as, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, that uh, makes sense. So, I was watching Netflix last night. Did you watch Money Heist? No. No. Do you know what it is? Money heist. No. It's uh, Spanish. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They rob a bank. Well, that's what they do. They rob banks. I don't know how they're still getting away with it. They're, they're in about the fifth season still robbing banks. Yeah, but it's like prison break still getting out of prison. Like, yeah. Eight to break out, break in. in. Yeah. yeah. But Enjoy anyways, it. it's in Spanish. So uh, when it only came out, I, I watched the fourth season. I was like, this is fucking quality. It's all subtitled. And I remember saying it to a young one I used to walk with. She was like, oh, I'm watching that yoke as well. I was like, yeah, it's class, isn't it? And all blah, blah, blah. And then... Uh, I was like, it took me ages because I kept fucking missing the subtitles. And she was like, what subtitles? I was like, what do you mean, what subtitles? And I went back onto it. And after like a couple of weeks of it being ill, they dubbed it. And I was like, ah, this is poxy. What's dubbed it? So they're speaking in Spanish, but yeah. they not they obviously mute them when they're talking and they get someone in English to come in and say what they're saying. Like so it's not matching their mouth? No, and oh, their mouth is moving. Me anxiety, <laughs> Wouldn't that give you the creeps? Bro, that's, that's not... So their mouth is moving, yeah. no words are coming out, and sometimes their mouth isn't moving and the words are coming out. Oh, no. But you know what makes it more creepy? When their mouth is moving and nothing's happening because you're just like, he's chewing the jar off himself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. With the, the sentence. Yeah, fact. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, when the, uh, do, you ever, do you ever go to Spain and like stick on the telly there and they're watching The, uh, the Simpsons could be on? Yeah. But it's, like, it's dubbed in Spanish. In Spanish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. It's that's, gas looking. I only found this out. I only found this out couple of weeks ago and I don't know why it only dawned on me now but you know when a big film comes out over here like the Avengers they dub it in Spanish then and release it and I was like obviously how did I not cop onto that but yeah. I was still shocked 
you know what I mean? Not just Spanish, hundreds of languages. Yeah, well, like, like every every country I'd imagine yeah, happens. Yeah. It, but like to me, oh, that was baffling. Like imagine fucking looking at I don't know Morgan Freeman and he has a different accent. Yeah. Like yeah, what does yeah. a Spanish fellow who does Morgan Freeman's voice sound like? That's what I want to know. I know because his voice is so iconic. Like That's what's what I'm saying. The, yeah, it's so yeah, distinctive. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. On like when he's in a new film, do they get the same Spanish fella to do him, mm. or do they just get a random Spanish fella to do it? It's easy with cartoons like with Pixar and stuff. They actually change the movements of them out and like so it's not as. How hard would that be to yeah. do though? So you have to do every fi- you have to do pretty much every version of a film. So here's the English version, here's the Spanish yeah. version, here's the French version. How many version. languages does it come out in? Exactly then, yeah, surely I limited there. Hundreds. How many languages is there? It's yeah, just not especially it, Disney, it, like it, surely they don't do it with like the top ten main languages. Yeah, no, no, like, no, no, they do it. Couldn't do it in every language job. Yeah. But anyway, Bro, yeah, that's, who's doing that? So <laughs> every <laughs> language in the world. How many languages is there? is do you want to start just our own podcast? <laughs> do you want to join Talking Bollocks and Calvin Young? No, no you can Calvin. fuck off the story. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking prick. What My is that Zinga? is, do you watch the foreign stuff in dubbed or subtitles? So you have the option. On Netflix you do, yeah? Right, right, right. right. I thought you were saying they changed that and you were filming because you couldn't watch it now. No, but I was filming that they did it because I was like, I watched it in subtitles when I didn't have to, but then I realised it was dubbed so bad. Yeah, yeah, You know, yeah. like that. So dubbed, dubbed or, or subtitles. So that's what you see. I seen something on your Instagram story. Yeah, I didn't know what dubbed me. meant, yeah. so I just skipped it. Someone take like a, no, someone, a couple yeah, of people. Past that story. Swipe, a couple of people text me and they're like, they're two different things. Dubbed means this and subtitles is that. And I was like, obviously. So which but one do you which fucking pick? You take. Yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean? People trying to get yeah. smart with me. Yeah. <laughs> Snap, Colin. I was snapping Snap. it on my own story, <laughs> my own Instagram. Yeah. Not even the talking about your own personal space. Fuck them. Not up in here. Not up in here. Get out of your gas! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <Anyways. laughs> uh, I go with I go with um, subtitled. Yeah, yeah. I have find it very distracting. Anybody who says takes me out of who it. picks dubbed just can't read. Do you know what I yeah, mean? Just admit yeah. it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? There's plenty no of people out there. That. Yeah. Go, go on and read. read. It. You don't even realise that you're reading it. After. No. Like, when you finish watching a film and you remember a film. After you've read it, like I th- what was it? Parasite. Uh, Parasite was subtitled. So when you finish that film and you look back in it and you remember the film, you don't remember reading it. You just remember the film and what happened. Yeah. yeah. You remember the story. You remember what happened. Like you remember how fucking good it is. Some of the best films I ever seen were uh, subtitled. City of God. Did you ever see that film? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little yeah, film. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll just the Red. Over here, my own boys. You no. The, the Red. What's the, the Hitler one? The uh, downfall. downfall Never downfall. seen it but Very just, good Very, very I've seen good. all the clips yeah, Where yeah. he runs amok Yeah <laughs> Now Terence, You can fuck off as well This one always <laughs> happens right? so We're all Cal- friends Calvin we're all gets friends. excited Right and it, When he meets someone else And knows the films And he just starts talking about films. Why did we just like Right text me later Fuck Would you that. not like films Having a clue bro Don't You've seen about four yeah. films In his life Never seen that many films bro mm. Why Just didn't why? Because he's childish. Yeah, bro. I have a lot of time on my hands. I can't, bro. I can't. You have a lot of time on your hands, so you should probably watch a <laughs> film, man. <laughs> no, I, I just don't. Uh... You've, you've babies now. You've kids. What are you Not talking? that he knows of. No, I'm <laughs> no, no kids. No pups. I'm you, a nip on myself. Do you have one, two? Tell me, I've, yeah. I've one, yeah. How old? Uh, six. So you're watching kids' films now, yeah? yeah? Of course. Yeah, Paw Patrol and all. Paw Patrol. Pasta. Pasta. Oh, yeah, like, pasta. Fucking lucky bastard. Yeah, see that bleeding <laughs> rider fella? Yeah. What's the story with Paw Patrol? Like, you entrust your whole fucking network of services to some fella and it's bleeding five puppies? A little ten-year-old. Do you know what I mean? What's and the story five about? puppies. He has five dogs and there's a... Oh, no, the bleeding mayor's house is on fire and he rings a fucking Jack Russell to come down and put the fire out. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Would you not just like It's more for kids Calvin don't I don't care old, yeah. <laughs> I don't care Me bollocks <laughs> Fuck adventure bae Yeah You know what I mean But uh, I know my one at Word for Word Do it again Do, do it again Because it was impressive Right here we are No Three. <laughs> No do it do it do it You did it before right? I will I'll come back to it right, come Remind back me at the end just Have you ever seen my one No Ah oh, I missed out have you, you must have two boys Yeah Yeah see so I knew that How did you know that Because Moana is more of a girls, girls film But right. The Rock is in it And it's fucking quality Is it It's my favourite Disney film I don't think he's at that stage yet, so I want to kind of wait until he appreciates good film. He's been watching Luca on repeat. You watch Luca? No, I don't like it. Shh. Well, my young one has watched it, but I don't like it. I love it. Oh, mm. my God. That's the one that's on Disney+. Plus. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like it. Not into it. I think it's really good. Mm. Well, flat out watching all the Marvel series now, me and Ho. So. Who, like, I, I want to oh, wait until like a fucking teen. Do you not like Marvel? Oh, that's it. He, he actually hates Marvel. Like, hey, he, he, I know he hasn't I seen many films, but he refuses to watch a Marvel I can't film. Grasp, man. I can't grasp the fact right, of a bloke webbing around the city, right? Another is Harry Potter Marvel. No. 
No. Why is she flying around on the sweeping brush anyway? Right? You she have to suspend your disbelief and let your yeah, imagination run wild, man. I don't have the imagination man. for them, bro. See, I like, I, I like, I like films, but I actually enjoy them. I just every don't film, get them. Do you know every film like is not real. No. No, but every they, film is not but real. The realistic ones. Do you know what annoys me, Joe? Yeah, I recommend a man. film to him and he won't watch it. And then no, you're a lawyer. What was that film? I know it was the best film I ever seen. Exactly. How many films have I recommended to you? Though, and you probably the one. only film you've ever seen. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Law, Boyd and Citizen. Law, Law, I've Boyden never Citizen. seen. I've heard good War things. What a film! Yeah, great yeah, film. Man, is that good? I tell you, that's great what you film. recommended. I feel like to a man who's never watched any no. films, recommending Law, Boyd and Citizen is probably not a good move. No, because he was better. on Netflix. He was on the phone to me, and he's flicking through Netflix, and he was like, "Oh, this." I was like, "Oh no, that's right." He's like, "This." I was like, "That's right." And he goes, "This," and I was like, "Actually, you will enjoy that." And I goes. If you don't enjoy the first 10 minutes, just knock it off. And he rang me back and he was like, I'm three minutes, 14 seconds in and I'm going to watch the rest of this film, he said. And he, he had a pause at three minutes, 14. He goes, I'm watching the well, rest of this film. See, like, a film has to get me in the first five or 10 minutes or I just, I, I lose concentration. You should do a segment where you watch a film every week and then talk about the film. It's oh, mad that, isn't, isn't it, John? It? Yeah. Who's in here giving the intro to Owen! Are you going to do that? Who's giving like, the intro information in this kip? <laughs> I'll smash this studio Ring a up. plumber Because we have a leak <laughs> <laughs> Snitches get fucking snitches But a guest A guest should re- recommend What do you mean Guests are a stable mate We're in the same fucking <laughs> Gym here You know what I mean This looks like You're just running out of guests And you're just walking around the building like, Funny you should say that Someone's Mark definitely Gilfoyle telling him something was only on the other week as well Mark Someone's definitely him. telling him stuff What's going on here though But right but uh, yeah, that is a segment coming soon. Tardens is Film Club, yeah. yeah. Well, something I want to talk about, yeah. Ooh. Uh, you're from Portland Row ish. Yeah. Crow yeah. Park area. I'll take it, yeah. Gar Brooks is coming back. What's the story? What do you think about this? This is good crack, no? Do you know the situation about Gar Brooks? I know something happened a few years ago when he wasn't allowed. Yeah. But so, I don't know how the cunt is or that. Right. He's, oh, well, you wouldn't you, like him. He actually you wouldn't, wouldn't like him, him. how. <laughs> He's Texas a country, vibes, yeah, 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 he's yeah. Country singer in America, right, bro? <laughs> country singer in America. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we, uh, in 2014, he signed up to do five concerts in Crow Park. What? Show do. Well, right. tree, started off a tree. Started off a tree, but then they, they, they milked it to five. They so quick. They, they milked it to five. What, they sold out? Tree, like tree Crow Park. Ticket. Yeah, but then he sold out five. The, yeah, then they, they don't put on more dates. How much money is that for him, boys? How much are we talking oh, about? Millions. 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 Is it millions? Yeah. Well, it's 400,000. No more. It was five. Uh, well, so the seat is 90,000, and then I think it's add another 50,000. So 140,000. There's no way they, five. No, they don't have 140,000 at a concert in Standing. Crow Park. Standing. No, no, not a ch- 140,000 people. So it's 90,000 th- 90, in, the, in the seats. It, yeah, but then you have to take out a stand to put a stage in. That's a very fair argument. Okay, fair argument. So I don't know how many are standing. Then, you just say 120. You say, you say 100. Re- okay, let me so, right, 100. Right, yeah. right, okay, so half right. a million tickets he's had to sell. Him. Yeah. And then what's At the about 50, the 50, 60, 70 oh, quid a pop. Sh- probably more, 90. But you know what? They they walked her out and they said how much it's costing the economy because people were booking hotels all around Dublin and they were all booked out and then they had to like push out to Kildare and Mead and them hotels and they were booked out and people were flying in, staying down and fucking... I remember there was a hotel in Mayo, a big huge like four-star hotel in Mayo or something like that and it was booked out for yeah. a week. They'd sold out. And then, for this fella? For this fella, yeah. I didn't even know he was that big. Gar Brooks. I didn't think he was this big. It's kind of a novelty at the time when he, I was like, who the fuck is going to go see him? And yeah. then, then it was sold out and I was like, oh, I guess novelty. But it was all cultures. It's probably old school. Country old music. It was cultures, old, yeah. old? He's not that old. Old school. Yeah, but old he's school. not that old. Yeah, he's about 50, is he? I think he's young enough. Yeah. Right, so this was in 2014. Bro, sold out like that. Every fucking culture in the country had a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get roasted for saying No, I'm allowed. I'm allowed. My board's culture. a culture. I'm allowed to. Yeah, oh, okay, allowed cool. Cool. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, Dylan Martin's my mate and he's a culture. Yeah, and they obviously, <laughs> they tapped into their communion money or they lifted up that mattress or wherever. They got the money. <laughs> and it sold out. But then the people who live around Crow Park kicked up more and said, my bollocks, I'm not putting five concerts on in here. And everyone was like, all right, yeah, calm down there, Clonough Road. Yeah. And what happened? They yeah. got the fucking plug pulled on it. Yeah. What, a few people around yeah. the gaps? Yeah. How? And, and Garth Brooks said, either I do five or I do none. And they say, well, you can do three. And he says, right now, deal's off. Yeah. How much money did he and everyone else lose out on? But this is the thing. So just for a few people in the since then, Why didn't he just look after them? Since then, they've revisited that and they have a deal. They're only allowed to do three concerts a year in Crow Park. 
What? Yeah. yeah. Three concerts a year in Crow Park. Is that what it is? Three concerts yeah. a year. And let, uh, it's usually Westlife, isn't it? Taking a ploy for an exception or something like that. Yeah. But Gar Brooks is coming back. <laughs> yeah. Gar Brooks is I coming like back Westlife next though. year. Ah, yeah, yeah. Hey, but Gar Brooks <laughs> is coming back next year and it's just reminded me of, of all that. I thought that was fucking gas. How did they do yeah. that? But why didn't they just write, knock around and say, look, we're going to make this amount of bread? Yeah, because they don't give a bollocks. They, they give them, give, they give them they free give them tickets. tickets yeah. They do yeah, a raffle. Like, like, here's a few. Shout out to Bob Alts, yeah. But you can't be paying everyone just for living. You live beside a fucking stadium. like Exactly what you think is going to happen. It's not like the stadium wasn't there when he moved in. The stadium was there first then he built. Yeah, but it's a football stadium. I know. Yeah, but it's a stadium. Yeah, they yeah. have yeah. gigs and stadiums all, all the exactly, time. Yeah, they use and if, if you talk about the money that they're going to bring to the local economy, is that not what you, is that's that's what I get? And then not everyone gets a ticket either. It's a raffle yeah. off, and the value of your house is increasing. Well, the more we have, live the more in the area. interest is yeah. around there. Like it's it's a. But this is, I think, the people in that area have too much power. Shout out to Bob Walsh, good mate. Mine lives in the area. He he's won a couple of them raffles for tickets and all. Well, fuck you, Bob Walsh, anyways. Yeah. <laughs> Cry back. Is, no, is he one of the. the no, but like, like... I just, he, he's the only person I actually know from there. Well, not the only person, but like directly. And uh, I haven't said that. Now, imagine anyways. five nights in a row, someone pissing in your garden. Yeah, but so you would be fuck off, lads. Like you know, I know. Just they make sure, like you know what I mean. Put something in place so people are not pissing. Yeah. They don't make sure. How can you? Yeah, well, but no, but that's what I'm saying. You should do safety yeah. measures. Do you know shit residents. like that? What What are you gonna do? Like if there's a hundred thousand people, put a load of bodies up and have people blame. around your gaff. The, the guy that do fuck all else anyways put them on the fucking roads you don't want, but yeah but as a homeowner if you had that if start you charging people to use your toilet don't piss there give me a five while you can piss put in here put a port to live in your garden yeah, yeah, that's not that's not an the answer yeah. Yeah. put the fucking in your garden put your own port to live and put it in your garden a five or a pop just start selling nappies sell nappies start selling diapers you sure what I mean don't knock the hustle this is all coming back around now I'm pretty sure there was a documentary done on it as well yeah 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 what's that yeah, mate, it was a Who serious, serious scandal. It was bad. Bro, he has two bad. songs. I don't care what anyone says. Yeah. And that's all he was going to do with five nights in a row. Play them two songs on loop. <laughs> and, it been great. and it would have been great. You the British Tavern would have been fucking hopping. Yeah, but well, imagine how much money they had to lose now on. A lot. A lo- I, 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 like, I'm going to catch that fly. I'm telling you. I'm going to catch that fly. I'm going to catch that fly. I'm going to catch that fly. I will catch that fly. Mr. Miyagi. Through the roof, boy. Get the chopsticks. It's going to watch. And that's gone. No, really. annoy me. But, yeah. So, concerts are coming back. Gar Brooks, Five Nights in Crow Park, Folk on the Road. Here we are. Did you not only say three concerts a year? Yeah, and I think he is getting two. Ed Sheridan's had to get one as well. That was announced today. And then they apply for like an exception if you want another one. Mm. You know what I mean? Interesting. So, this is it. I, mean, I never have any interest in going to see any of them. Did you ever go see anyone in Crow Park? Yeah, Coldplay, best concerts ever in my life. I've heard that. I, I every single person I know says that. They were very good. He, he brought out uh, Christy Moore. And he yeah. sang right on It was fucking class But mm. the one in Crow Park Was a part of that Around the Oh Sky Full of Dreams Full tour What was it? Head Full of Dreams tour And I seen videos of that In Australia So I knew what was coming And I was yeah, like That's yeah. going to be little Mate they had fucking They put serious production Into it Big beach balls and all Everyone bouncing around yeah. Everyone had these like Watches on That went in colour So like half the stadium Was blue oh, Then yeah, purple yeah, and yellow yeah. And all It was fucking yeah, little yeah. What a night like I did see But yeah them But my yeah. mate lives down on Clonliffe Road and uh, no, on, it's just off near where the blind ref is and we just sit out his back have a few cans and, and listen, listen to the, it yeah, you, great, yeah, really, you can hear really it from my gaff yeah. you can hear it clearly from the gaff you know what I mean yeah. people just sit on the canal yeah. and just have a few yeah. cans and listen to it like, yeah. even that's a good buzz yeah. just the atmosphere around the area when there's a gig on there it's electric like, yeah. it's really good especially oh, now we're all match. coming back it's mm. going to be bleeding nuts mm. yeah. it'll be late yeah you know but, uh, and then another one so if you're listening to this Sosso Murray's podcast would be out. Yeah. And he was talking about hitchhiking around. Do you know Sosso? Uh, yeah, I know him to say. Yeah, I don't really know him. Too yeah, well. you know he's hitchhiking around the country. I don't he know was. that. I, he was. Really? He's only back. for like 42 days. But uh, like that. I wanted to talk about because I've done a hitchhike before. Now I say hitchhike, but you're saying that to him. It's like saying to fucking Ronaldo. Or yeah, I play a bit of football. Oh, done a step yeah. Over. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, uh, he done some serious hitchhiking, did he? He killed some people on the way. He probably yeah. did. He didn't say on our podcast, though, anyways. Yeah, and if he did, on with a whip there, though. But, um, <laughs> I, when I was in San Francisco a few years ago, there's this cycle you can do from Fisherman's Wharf across the Golden Gate Bridge and down to another town, and then you get the ferry back. But you know the film Planet of the Apes? Yeah. The one that only came out in like 2014, the, new one, the, newish, the newish one. one. So uh, at the end of it, you know where they let the monkey go, Caesar, and he goes off into the woods. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. wanted to cycle to them woods. Yeah, they're called Mere Woods. To see if there was any monkeys. To see what Caesar really there. Yeah. But uh, 
so we knew one of the boards who uh, worked in the bike rental place, yeah, and we were saying to her, look, this is where we want to go. And she was like, you are mad. Like, the bikes are like them Dublin City bikes, you know them what you see everyone on? She was like, you are mad. And we're like, how do we get there? And she had to go in and get our manager to get another map, because the map they have only goes so far. So uh, How far was What was the distance, do you know? I've no idea, but it took all day. And like, you're cycling along Fisherman's Wharf, up over the Golden Gate Bridge, down through all these hills, the Californian hills, you know yeah, what I mean? Big yeah. bleeding, up and down, redwood trees and all. It was fucking unreal. I wish I had like a proper camera to video yeah. it, but uh, we are going up this hill, and I mean, it's never ending. Like, we're pushing the bikes up the hill, we couldn't cycle anymore. And it was about four or five of us, and I just remember, I goes, fuck this, I'm hitchhiking. And like, I was messing, and someone laughed. I was like, oh, yeah, grand, I put my thumb out like that, and I was pushing the bike with this hand. Next one, I fell in the pickup truck, just goes ahead of me and just pulls in. And I was like, oh. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck do we do here? Like, what? Like, I, I'm, I'm going to bottle it. Like, I'm getting stage fright. You know what I mean? <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's like when you say to a young one, I'm going to stick the lips on you. And she goes, right, go on then. Like, ah, I'm only messing up a board. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> so we went up to a man and he comes out and he puts his fucking yoke, the, the, back the of hatch, the the hatch of it down. So he put the bikes in and we all jumped in the back. And then he drove us to the top of the Bladen Hill about in, 20 in minutes. In the back? Like, in, in the, the back. Open, open yeah, back, yeah. Like, all in the fast. back. No longer in the front, Deadwood. Seen too many films. <laughs> <laughs> and then we just all got out and that was it. I don't even know what your man looked like. Your man didn't speak to us, didn't know what was going on. And I was like, that was fucking sound, wasn't it? And That's then we got nice. to cycle all the way down the hill on the other side into the woods then. I have a picture. It's on my Instagram. I only went through it the other day. Yeah. And there's a picture of me outside with the sign, like, Mayor Woods. And then the picture of the film where they let the monkey off and it's the exact same sign. Class. So that's late. Yeah. So I was late. like, there's a, that was my hitchhiking story anyway. So saw somebody <laughs> is talking about bleeding, getting picked up by mad Russians who are gonna bleed and drive off a bridge and all. So I was like, oh, ah, yeah, forget about it. Yeah. Go back and listen. Over the fucking wall, the fella has. Go back and listen. Anyways, it'll be episode forty. He won't give us a listen. We're no. rivals. Yeah. No, bro. <laughs> Rising tide lifts all ships, lads. Yes, bro. Like that, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? You can't see who's swimming in the nip unless the tide goes out, though. Oh. Absolutely, I don't know the no, significance. Do you like that one? Yeah. Do you like that one? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean, bro? Do you like that one? <laughs> Any more? Oh, another suggestion we had was uh, session stories. Have you got any funny session stories? Jesus. Just one off the top of your head now. Dangerous, oh, dangerous absolutely. territory, isn't yeah. it? No, yeah. it really, really is. Dang. It's hard to give oh, a session it, yeah. story oh, without incriminating yeah. yourself, yeah. incriminating yeah. someone. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you yeah. have one anyways. He's got never friendly stories, Eddie. <laughs> no, and this it's always something. He's the most bumpy. It's time! <laughs> uh, so this was brought to my attention a few weeks ago. Yeah. And the person who said it to me, I was like, no way, I can't tell that story. And he was involved. So he was like, you may as well do it. But, yeah, but was he the only one involved? No, but that's why I won't say who he is, right, so we can't right, incriminate right. everyone else yeah, that was yeah, involved. Yeah. But we used to go to this session, yeah? Everybody used to take a load of E, and we used to play Blind Man's Bluffs. Well, you, you know we told, you've told me about that. Have I told you about that? What's Blind Man's Bluffs? You know, you blindfold yourself, you spin around 10 seconds, and then, oh, 10 times, sorry, and then you have to catch everybody oh, right, in okay, the room. Okay, okay. But like everyone used to be doing the whole session. <laughs> Out ahead on is <laughs> I'm there sober. I thought it was weird. <laughs> I hope that's the end of the story. Yeah. That's fucking hilarious. It was great crack though. Great crack. You know what I mean? Well, James deadly to watch. Yeah. Involved, People please. wrapping themselves and all getting back up. Like no one ever caught anybody. You know what I mean? You're in a big room like this, and anytime someone goes that way, everyone will just move and like they were never gonna catch someone. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have loved to put a camera in the corner just to watch it, but Oh, he was like, I can't be saying that in the podcast. And he was like, yeah, you may as well. And I was like, yeah, you know what, fuck it. So <laughs> yeah, that's, that's some of the sessions I've been involved in, Stone Cold Sober. Yeah. Um, if I, I think of any more. I love the I cues love to the sink that does be. Like a cue to the jacks, but it's just like a cue to the sink to fill up that glass of water. I've been out with the same fella before, and I'm not even exaggerating with you. He had a two litre bottle of water for the whole night, and he was just hugging it and drinking over. So yeah. I was watching the whole night drinking over, and by the end of the night, if that was the two litre bottle, like that much was gone over. And I mean, he took a mouth like he, took, he was taking sips out of every blade in two minutes. <laughs> so maybe he only made like less than a mouthful took out of the bottle. <laughs> the lips, that's all. That is. Just the lips. He was having a great time though. Yeah, but that's me. Know. I've no more. I'm not getting into any session stories. Yeah, if you have any little story. funny ones, think about for next week or yeah, round because yeah, yeah. someone I'll someone try. put in the suggestions before. Yeah. But like obviously, it's hard to do this. You know what I mean? Because you're gonna incriminate someone. Yeah, or, that's what I'm yeah. saying. It is really though. Mm. You know, so keep away the session <laughs> stories. Yeah. Leave them in the past, there, eh, Barry. Keep away. Yeah. Don't dig them up. Right, the McGook's the message. Joe McGuckin. Joe, Joseph, Josephine, Joseph, Giuseppe, 
Joseph. Yes. And to you, tell us a bit about yourself. Oh, I don't. I fucking you hate say that question. It's so fucking. When I name interview, you when know. I oh, named all your aliases there, you goes. I set up. Oh yeah, I was just saying that I set up me me social media. Everything is like at Joseph McGuckin, uh, even though I don't go by Joseph. Like I, I go by Joe. I fucking yeah, I hate being like, called uh, Joseph. Y- you do, yeah, it's no. shit, isn't it? I yeah. hate being called Terence. <laughs> <It's> so weird. <laughs> <laughs> do you hate being called Joseph? I don't hate being called, but it's just so formal. What about Joey? Yeah, One Joey. person in the world has ever called me Joey. Who was yeah, it? Was uh, just an old, an old friend of mine. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's a baby kangaroo, by the way. Yeah, I know. Mm-hmm. I know. Childish, the hell do you even know that? I don't like me now. Every day is a skill day. Do you like your name? Obviously not. He you like your name? I like my name, yeah. a cool name. I, I hate I saying say it. Own I hate yeah, I can't say my own name either. And you have got a poxy name. Let's be real. No, I didn't pick If you could change your name, well, you can actually change your name. Why don't you change your name then? Because it's the late. I'm at the going through this fine life. <laughs> now imagine me saying, coming out, and they're like, what's your name? Dino. What would you, <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, what if you could change do? your name, would you, you change it to Dino? No, no you wouldn't. Change it to <laughs> like Giuseppe. Giuseppe Power is a good one. I'm going to call me first kid, Giuseppe. Yeah, that's Italian for Joseph. Is it really? Yeah. yeah. Fuck off. Is it really? Yeah, obviously. That's a pretty crack boy. Geo. <laughs> Geo, what's up? Uh, yeah. Axel's a good name. Axel Rose. Axel. Axel, yeah, bro. I was thinking Paddy. Axel Foley. Axel no. Foley. Paddy yeah. Power. Max Power. <laughs> you get, there's a few. There's a, what's Gavin Power yeah. saying? There's what's, loads of names. Austin. Loads Austin, of Austin names. Power. There's Austin, Texas. Ah, mate. Please. There you go. That's at the and that now. He <laughs> yeah, was going to name his child Austin there and he just said that. Dallas. Dallas is a nice name. Dallas, Texas. Right, Joe, into yourself. Skip that. What, 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 what? What do you want I to know, know, it does sound interviewy at the start, but it's not but This is what we do, Joe. Boys, you know, Joe. Have, you have you never listened to an episode of this podcast? Your middle name is actually George Michael. Answer yeah, Calvin's I've question. heard that. Have you, yeah? Yeah, but come here. Yeah, yeah, you didn't answer me. party piece. You dodged me a question, by the way. That's a pretty crack. What, 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 what? Have you ever listened to an episode of the podcast? I have, yeah, yeah. Name one episode that you listened to. I listened to the Nicola Talent one, in bed, falling asleep. Yeah, who hasn't? So didn't fall asleep. It's a popular episode. Uh, Very controversial episode. Skip that because yeah. I still have PTSD. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. I didn't remember. Why? Oh, it, just, long story. it was a bad week. Yeah. It was a bad week it was for a the Why? It just no, was. We, we get for that. We'll tell you it off here. Yeah. But um, anyways. <laughs> Ooh. I, I seen now. that in a sketch. Yeah. And you won. And your Martin shouts, see you, Joseph George Michael McGuckin. Oh, yeah. And someone actually said to me, that's really his name. And I was like... I think it was actually Jen Hatton, but... No, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, Jen. Yeah. <laughs> Who's Jen Hatton? Jen Hatton's the girlfriend in the... Yeah. The, 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 when the girl won't let the... That's one of my favourite sketches. Drink. You never seen so that one? Yeah, yeah. No, I don't think so. So Joe knocks down to... Is, it's Daryl. Daryl, actually. Yeah, yeah, he knocks down. He's like, you come in the pub, but his board comes out. Ah, like, I did see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll come back to it. But uh, yeah, what's the story with that? What, with me middle name being yeah. George Michael? Uh, it wasn't planned. Like, uh, 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 me first. It wasn't planned, me. I, it, is it, it, his name was George, and then me yeah, sponsor, name. Me sponsor was Michael. Michael. Yeah. Michael O'Neill. So. And you're telling me there was no thought process for that? No, bit. if no, I had probably said bollocks, I'm at making a mistake. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. I'm at the doing that. <laughs> no, that's a bit crack. That's a good one to pull out of the party. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's what he said to Michael. the priest. What's your sponsor name? He goes, Wham, George Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not like that one? Joe, you got that one. I know you gotta you have faith. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> but, Joe, right, we got your name, right? We have your whole name now. Yeah. What's right? your PPS yeah. number? <laughs> so, eight. No, that's actually the start of it. I was gonna say it like a fucking idiot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was life like growing up? No, where you, well, you're from Duntree Flats. Yeah, Duntree Flats, right. Dublin yeah, 1. That, that's all that involves you. Now, well, yeah. I'm from Duntree Flats, and life was all right. That yeah. shows you how it goes. Yeah. So, look, yeah, come on. And you can't really say sorry to her either. Oh, no, because you're one of us. Mm. Stop yeah. wearing skinny jeans, but go on. <laughs> they're not skinny, they're fucking just. I'm, ju- I'm just skinny, yeah. and I'm just wearing jeans. You're like, stop being skinny, Joe. Yeah, <laughs> like a tattoo on you. Go on. Um, what? What's the question? <laughs> what was life like growing up? What's your name? Like Where did you come from? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, it, it was great. It was good. It was fun. Like you know what I mean. Every it was uh, all the kids were basically like, especially growing up in the flats and around Port and Row. Like all of the kids were basically raised together because all the L ones were in the pub and like it all just congregating. Like you know, all the families. It was just like a big being from the inner city. I think is like being from a village. Do you know what I mean? It's as close. To, like, I talked to someone in uh, in work and he's from the country and he was like, I was explaining to him what it was like growing up in the inner city. And he said, it's very much like growing up in a village. Like everyone knows each other. Everyone knows each other. Everyone knows each other. Mm. Everyone from knows the each back other. end of the inner city to the top end of the inner mm. city, everyone knows My board yeah. always says it to me because she's from Wexford and when we walk from Wigan to the shop, I literally have to acknowledge every single every person. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. this is what I mean. Like I have <laughs> yeah. to acknowledge every single person. Because they, we, everyone knows each other. Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
you know it's I mean? weird and I think it's it's unique and it's broken into little areas. So I had the four corners. I had from the five lamps up to the sunset house, yeah. up to the bridge at the canal, up to the other end of the bridge at the canal. And I'd call that my four corners and that'd be my little quadrant. Yeah. And even if you cross the road, that'd be like a different area. Yeah. Like over to the other side of the Portland Road, like this is they'd be on the other side, you know? Yeah. They'd I tried to explain this to people almost. when I'm explaining what collecting was for yeah, Halloween. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, you just don't realise, like, yeah, we're all from town, but there's so many little areas yeah. who used to have a bonfire. Yeah. So, like, I'm from the Diamond. You cross the road, you're that in the Liberty House. They yeah. were the champs. The Diamond was we one of the We were the champs. champs. There was about six of us, and no one was getting the tire out of <laughs> there. The Diamond was a nightmare at the ground. The boys, no one. You were never the getting the tire out of there. Doors. Yes, you, yeah. Yeah. That's when we used to venture out. It would be like, like you'd be at the going into all the flats around, so you'd be going down the Greek Street, you'd be going into yeah. the Hardwick Street, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. you're like, we just venture down there. Yeah. No, it's a step too far, isn't it? It's a step too far when you go down and you live with no wood and a black eye. Mm. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But it <laughs> always <laughs> happened, like, and it's coming up to coming up to Halloween now. And Halloween's little, boys. Oh, boys, I got a blatant tear in my eye when I see kids pushing the trolley down the oh, road. It's little, How, little. Like you'd be like, what's the story with this fucking traffic? And then you see some young people with a pallet, and you'd be like, Do you know what, mate? You take your time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you want a hand <laughs> holding up the whole road, not a bother to Who are you collecting for? Yeah. Who are you collecting? <laughs> <laughs> dig then, you know what I mean? <laughs> smack. <laughs> well, no. what a chance. I think Sharava no, were number Charivar, one. Yeah, that was that, yeah, yeah, then that's the diamond was number two. Them, and you were bleeding animals. Yeah, they were animals. We, they they were, came in, when they used to come up the doors, yeah, flats, right? So Sharifa used to mold you up the doors, yeah, three flats. Just and, for a straight And once you see them, right, you're like, Fuck. no way. <laughs> Why today? Do you know what yeah. I mean? You only had to get in a, you had to have a murder down in Greek Street, right? Punching people around, getting lumped around, just to get a few pallets from the bleeding. From what's that called? The bleeding factory the down there. Markets, the fruit markets, isn't it? The fruit markets. You'd be, we'd be at the climbing in there, getting loads of pallets, dragging them all the way up to the flats for a sheriff at the turn up. Like, for <laughs> the young ones used to lump us mm. around, the young flats. The young ones, yeah, the when the young, young ones went, they were animals. They yeah, were vicious. Yeah. Liberty House used to always send the young ones in, and you got to clatter off someone, and you're just like, why did you even do that? Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Send the young flats over. Don't be fucking sending the young ones in. And the young ones don't come on their own either. Five or six of them lumping you around for yeah. a toy. And you can't let go of the toy. No, you're not letting go of the toy. I would let go and run. Oh, I'm a bo- I was a bottler. Oh, well, People yeah. went out collecting, and I was, I was, I was like, oh, I'll mind the tires. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, be, yeah, kids, yeah, I was to stay yeah. home and mind the tires. Yeah, I was that stupid cunt that was led to the front. Well, Go yeah, on, yeah, gops. the animal, yeah, yeah. Shit, no, not the animal. The uplift run up and just take the hiding from everyone else to get the pallets. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah. come in, throw on hands. You know? It was great. I miss collecting boys. Like, yeah. That's what we used to do. We used to sit in the diamond and like someone would come in. Liberty House it usually was would come in, and we just sit there. But there used to be no more. Not exaggeration. There'd be no more than ten of us, and at least. 40 or 50 of them and we just sit there and let them search let them do what they want yeah. why? why? because what's the point in stopping them they're not going to find the stuff oh bottlers you wouldn't put no, the listen, no you, you let them right there's no point in so, so if you see a gang of them yeah the first <laughs> thing you're going to do is run to your hiding spot and they're going to give the hiding spot away so you let them go in and search. Usually we'd hide all the stuff in the flats. You get a boarded up flat, you put all the stuff yeah, on the yeah, flandra yeah, then. You, you climb up on the yeah, flandra yeah. and you, you hide all the yeah. stuff in the flat then. I had a few tours out my, my back on my veranda. We used like, to knock know? into people and say, yeah, can we can we put tours out, there, yeah, yeah. out in your flandra <laughs> then? And you say, yeah, yeah, no, but And yeah. one year we did it. And one of the young ones came in and knocked and goes, oh, we give us them tours off and he fucked them all off and she was from Liberty House. He didn't oh know. God. <laughs> he didn't know and he fucked all the tours off. Oh my off. God. That's what you're hiding, boy. That's dowsy. So what we do is we sit there and then if they found the stuff and then they tried to bring it out, then you have a war off them. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? They weren't getting but it. But them yeah. were serious. Serious. Boys. Oh yeah. And yeah. the matter think no one died. How? Yeah, yeah or badly yeah, injured. Yeah. Or maybe they were badly like, so, injured. But see, yeah. <laughs> we were down at, down at Greek Street before in a lane, right? And I mean, there's about 40 of them and about 40 of us and we're all screaming and everything's going off. We're trying to get through them to get to their pallets and we knew nothing was going to happen so we're just standing there. Some cunt launches a bottle of blood straight over everybody hits me in the top of the head doesn't smash dunk please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like if that had a smash please it'd cut me clean up. Yeah. But that was it. Like a young fella, right? I can't say his name. I'd love to say his name. But his brother I'm good friends with. We were down there as well. The same day, yes, yeah, so we were all in there having more than he cycles down the road on a push bike with a sword in one hand Right? Now, I don't think he was going to stab anyone. Yeah. But when you're only a kid and someone's cycling at you with a we're fucking, fucking sword, sword, you're yeah. like, that's traumatic, boys. Yeah. And we didn't give a rat, so we're straight to the next flats. Yeah. Fuck them, we'll get them tomorrow. Like a knight's tale coming yeah. down. Yeah. It was great. <laughs> Jousting. Yeah. But uh, that's the thing. I, now, I know a lot of people won't really have a clue what we're talking about, but I can't emphasise to you how much collecting actually means to people in Dublin, ah, yeah, like, yeah, especially yeah. in town. So you're collecting pallets and tours for your bonfire. 
is what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's when we refer yeah. to collecting. Some cunt listening and saying, geez, I never used to collect stamps like that. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what we mean. It was yeah. a serious, serious deal. It was, it was like a, fucking... It was, it was, it was a, a great moment of uh, unification for certain areas and pride. Like, it gave you a sense of pride and belonging. Yeah, like, and but there's also you, a sense of diversity like. and division as well because you yeah, had families. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Halloween, no, you just go to the place you yeah, had the most that's what get yeah, it. Yeah. So if we... If so, like, Imagine so, everyone just teamed up. I'd have one big massive fuck off fire. Why didn't we just think of that job and because just all up where are you going to put it all up against the spoiler yeah. all right good show actually that'd be yeah. a good centre piece wouldn't it yeah, yeah. Just burden the that's spoiler. what you used to do anyways you used to have to put a big <laughs> pole in the middle yeah. remember someone would have to stick the yeah. pole in and then you'd have to slack the, po- the fire around yeah. it so yeah why do we not do that but look that used to happen your, your fire would run lower about blading you used to have the power you used to have the power the right Terrence power to <laughs> un- unify Sheriff Street mm. oh, everyone on the north side Sheriff Street town the diamond, I'd call us town. What would you call my area? Dunn Street. D- no, that that used to. Yeah. North Strand. Joe, I remember actually it? taking pallets off you when I was younger. Do you? Yeah. Do you? Yeah, I remember you had a trolley full of pallets and I just went Did up Did you and tell it. me this recently? Yeah. Yeah. yeah Fuck off. Yeah, up at the bridge, the bridge tavern, down that side. I remember you had a pallet, uh, a trolley full of them and we turned the corner and I remember you were just like, all right. And I'm, yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> I told you, I just fucking give them all. I'm not putting up a fucking scrap. I yeah. can't fight for shit. Like, yeah. holy Jesus. Did you actually? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. You that's told mad. me that before. Yeah, yeah you told that's me mad. that before. Mm, that's I a remember. bit of crack. Because I remember thinking, crack, I was like, yeah. this fella's a, like, because you're, you're a few years old and I remember thinking, like, geez. And then I was like, that, that was grand. That was easy. <laughs> <laughs> you had to just call them out on the podcast. Yeah, yeah. Well, sure, look at <laughs> I'm a few years old. Or probably two all to be fucking collecting at that stage anyway I was probably walking for the shop just bringing yeah, pallets yeah. out the back. back at Tesco or something <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dope, yeah, for who are you collecting for Tesco yeah. <laughs> little coming over taking your pallets yeah. <laughs> but right uh, that was a fucking tangent wasn't it tangent but it's great it's coming up to Halloween it's nice to talk about we'll have yeah, a few yeah, more yeah, coming up Yeah, oh, I have so loads of mad stories yeah, we bring them up every week with those segments about Halloween right <clears throat> on the lead up you yeah, were talking about your four corners and how there's different communities in town yeah, so I just felt like every, you were, I was I was talking about growing up around that area, and then we we all just kind of grew up together, all the kids around the same age. Do you know what I mean? That generation. I mean, there was about a five year, six year window. Like I would have been on the younger side of it, up to you know, like Neddy, Arkans, yeah. like so. We'll all all of him. us, like we all would have been. We all just fucking. It was grand. It was great. It was great. It was fun. Mm, so you're saying yeah. your mates would be a lot, some of them would be older, touching the, 40 now. Well, I don't know how that 40, but like... Touching 40 now. They'd probably be yeah. about 30, I think the oldest one from that like group of 40, friends 40, would have been 40, about 36, yeah. Mm, yeah. That's 40. And he was an animal, uh, uh, like scale, scaling walls and lepping walls and he was <laughs> he was the king of collecting. He was yeah. deadly. I don't know, what, I want to say his name, but I don't like... I don't say know his name, go on. Give me a shout out. Go. Go. Ivan. Do you know what even? even? Patrick Grealish. He's just talking about bad names. Do you even, fellow? Is that a nickname? Uh, yeah, I think it was his outfit, his name. And then, oh, right. uh, then he, it was just his name. That was how we <laughs> made up nicknames back then. Was it just called him by the, the ma, da. Yeah. Like Josie Parra. Yeah. Christopher Parra. Yeah. Just called him Josie. That's what your man used to name. say. Ivan, awful name. <laughs> <laughs> Calvin delighted Calvin that loves that one doesn't he <laughs> <laughs> see that one pull that one out of the pocket as he said it just broke out <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's delighted <laughs> yeah bro I was like oh, even I can't be letting that opportunity pass bro. <laughs> mate I'm one on one with the keeper I'm shooting yeah, you know what I mean I can't be passing that one yeah. uh, but uh, yeah what was it like yeah there, so what was school like Um, grand I went to O'Connell's primary school and then I went to Marino secondary school so that's where, like, my brothers would have, my older brothers would have went to the O'Connell Secondary School. So but how many they have your sister, brothers? Uh, three brothers and one sister. Uh, two older, two older brothers, and then a younger brother and a younger sister. Right, right in the middle. Yeah, middle child. Bang yeah. in the middle. Yeah, yeah. So um, school. So me two older brothers didn't finish school, and so I said I'll go to Marino because. There's not a good track record with secondary in O'Connell's. And then I, I fucking hated him and I hated school. So I I um, I um finished it anyway just to kind of make me more proud. And uh, yeah, then then I just signed on the label. And uh, yeah, I didn't like... <laughs> hey, uh, now we're a poxy podcast. I actually didn't. I actually didn't sign on the label. I went to college after... This is, this is a, I didn't plan on telling this story, but I think it's a funny oh, yeah, story. Come on, go here on. we go. 
I'm putting the mic uh, down. <laughs> I went to Marino College. You know Marino College? For yeah, their education yeah. on... Uh, the five lamps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's only up the road there. And uh, I said it to my ma. And my ma signed me up. So when I finished school, I went to study uh, film in Marino College. And I was there for about two or three weeks. And the tutor came up to me. And he says, what's, what's your name? I was like, John McGuckin, I've been here for like three weeks. Like, <laughs> we're halfway through the bleeding four semester. Like, and uh, he goes, I don't have you on the roll book. And I'm like, oh, I don't know why. Like, that's, that's weird. And then he goes, can you get down to the principal and just kind of talk about it or whatever? I don't know. I think, it's a, I think it was the principal. I don't fucking know. Whoever the equivalent is in college. Then I went down to, to her and then she goes, you're not, you're not registered here, like, at all. <laughs> and I was like, my ma said that I'm registered here and I'm, I'm set up to... I'm here like for two years, two year film course. And she's like, no, we don't have any of your paperwork or anything. And then I went, she's, so I was like, all right, go on and see us later then. And then I went home to my ma and I says, they said that I'm not registered here. And then my ma goes, that's weird. Cause I was talking to the porter in the pub and he said that you could go there. So she was just talking oh. to the porter in the pub. And she thought that's how she registered she me. Assumed, but that's it then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mouth, I said it. To, I said it to the porter. Like, can he go to that college? And he was like, Yeah, <laughs> anyone can go to that college. Yeah. She didn't realise that you had to sign somebody. You had to sign her up. It wasn't a verbal agreement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know I mean? ah, yeah send them in. Like, so they you know? basically said to you, "Who are you with?" And you were like, "Oh, yeah." Oh, all right, man. Yeah, let's yeah. go here. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that was my experience with college. Uh, then I went back to college uh, a few years later as a mature student in Ballyferma. Mm. That was about six or seven years later. Though. Film but yeah, again. Uh, television production and operations, yeah. yeah. But that was a two year course, finished that. And then um, walked in. I moved to New York then for a little bit. Did you, yeah? Yeah. Didn't like it. Yeah. Uh, bloody uh, 2015, 16. Uh, recent enough. Recent, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So hang on. Yeah. You're Take us back. Yeah, years. They yeah. Had to from yeah. The I don't know what like. <laughs> yeah. Still, the 2015. It's so broad. I don't know where to start. Like, I feel like I'm really being interviewed now. It's like, just go oh. linear. Where it? So, right. take us from where you got fucked out of college mm. that you were never in. You right. were like, right. Well, that's my college career is finished. Where'd you go from there? Then I signed on. Yeah. Uh, no, I didn't because I was 17 then. So I was waiting. I was just knocking around for a for a year. Uh, I was helping me dad. My dad was a painter and decorator. Uh, so I was helping him when I, whenever you got a few nixers, you give me a few quid for the day's work. And then when I turned 18, like on my birthday, I went up to, to sign on. It was like a yeah, fucking yeah, great like day. Like yeah. <laughs> so I went up and I signed on then and wasn't happy then, obviously, just doing nothing. So I went to Falger Ireland to do a bar course about a year later to become a barman. And then I done that for like six months or uh, no, not even six months. No, I think you that have was to like do a, a course trim. to become a barman. You don't, but it's for t- uh, t- it's like for hospitality. Falls Ireland had a course for hospitality. They had chefs, a chef course, a barman course, and a, a waiting course. Mm. So I done the How bar long course a long a time, while. a long time. <laughs> 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 I was a waiter. I done the waiting course then after the bar course you because just sit there for two hours doing nothing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, you in a waiting room, in a waiting room. <laughs> That's what it was like signing on. <laughs> but yeah, then uh, I was doing a little bit of waiting. And then in between all of that, I was making videos and making TV shows for DC TV. Do you remember that that community TV channel? It was like at the end of the music. It's, it was when the God channel started and the music channels ended, like mm-hmm. on NTL. It's like squashed in between no man's land. But uh, I made TV shows for that. And then went on to college shortly after. They said, we'll give you a full-time job if you get a course. But by the time the course ended, the channel shut down. So then I moved to New York for three months, hated it. And then there was a job that I had deployed for before I went to New York. I mean, I'm just giving you the fucking clip notes. Yeah, don't, yeah, I don't yeah. think anyone fucking wants to hear this. It's you boring never know, shit. You never like, know, bro. Well, come here, look, you had to sign up a podcast here, so people probably want to know, oh, that's a man who does the sketches, but you mm. probably don't know who you actually because are. You, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, don't yeah, really yeah. get down and into that in your podcast, don't <coughs> yeah, you? Yeah, not like, really, no. You yeah. just don't get into it yourselves or anything personally. You actually sort of play like the two dopey fellas. Ouch. Where neither of these are. <laughs> <laughs> no, you still sort of don't yeah. just though, like it's sort of like a just kind of like place. Just like a buzz and it's like, So people might look and say, what's the story with this fella? You know what I mean? Because we had Darden on and people know his his story. Yeah. yeah. So why not get the other half? Yeah, you know sure. I mean? Yeah, yeah. No. Um, so uh, why did you go to New York? Like, what, what did you just say? Uh, Do you know what? I'm out here. New I York. was doing a Jobs Bridge internship at the time and I was as an editor for a... a for, it was a, a video editor for a company. But I could do that remotely and 
the missus was over in New York as well, so I ended up moving over to New York and just I asked them and they when I was doing the jobs bridge thing, do you mind if I just go to New York? Like, you know, mm. just went over uh, semi illegally, planned on staying there for a long time, but I fucking hated it. I really did Why? hate New York. Every, it's it's a sales pitch, man. Mm. Everything in America is just a sales pitch. Nobody is genuine. You mm. can't have a serious conversation. Somebody always has an agenda. Yeah. And if they're not selling you something, they're just rude. Like it's it's if nasty. you can't benefit them, they don't want to know who you're. Hundred percent. Yeah. Hundred yeah. percent. Like. No, that's right. you get that. Especially, I think it's an East Coast thing in America. I think yeah. It's real yeah. common in New York. You know what I mean? The people are. I don't know, do you say real? They just, they don't, they don't have time for you. Even though, yeah. we got that, the first time I was in New York, I went with my family and uh, I remember my dad asking like a copper on the street for directions and he was a wanker. And yeah, was yeah, like, yeah. Maybe. Same over here, mad that, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, the but like, you know, when you're a tourist, everywhere. you're a yeah. tourist, you're in New York, like it's, yeah. you know, you're in this melting pot, big huge city buildings fucking everywhere and you're like, oh, like it's very easy to get lost. There's a fellow with his Irish family there, fucking yeah, five yeah. or six of us, wherever it was and, I remember just thinking like, I was only young and I just remember thinking like, jeez, that was a bit off, wasn't it? No need for that. And then like, I've since been back and my opinion really hasn't changed to be honest with you. Yeah. You know I mean, everyone's in a rush. It's, I don't really, I'm not a big fan of it to be honest with you. And I, yeah. I think that's a big dream a lot of people have. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to emigrate, I'm going to go to New York, bleeding, watching Gossip Girl and what have you. I'm going to live on the Upper East Side. It's not like that. The idea, I mean? the idea and people's Instagram stories yeah. is a lot better than the reality of yeah. it. The reality of living in New York, especially as... Especially Manhattan. Really, yeah, I was... Um, it's no... Only a fucking millionaire could afford to live in Manhattan. Yeah. You know, it was way down in Brooklyn on the south side. Like, it, it was... Brute. It was shite. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? It's, it's not... Know, it's mad that you said that. So I would have never thought that. Cause so, I'd, I'll never, ever go to America till the day I die. Never. But if <laughs> I had to go to America to go to one place, I'd pick New York just by the look of it and... Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it looks tourist, amazing. As a tourist, if you go, you'll have a good time because mm. you'll go do all the tourist stuff. You'll go to the Temple Bars, you'll go to, yeah. and you'll have a good time. You'll go mm. to the Empire State Building, you'll see all the, the buildings that you see in the films, you'll go to Times Square, you'll be like, ah, that's where friends are filmed, and then you'll go home, you'll have a good memory of it. But if you go there to live and you're looking for a job and you're talking to people on a normal level and you go to live somewhere in an affordable area, like where it's not that nice. You're not gonna have a great time. It's, yeah. I think it's, as a tourist, is it the great. most expensive, second most expensive city in the US to live in? I think San Francisco is forced on New York. Is San Francisco is forced, is it? I think it only recently became forced. Now right. I'm not sure, so don't quote me on that. It could be the opposite way. It, yeah. I think they're, they're, I think that that's one and two. Yeah, and it could be LA is up there as well. Yeah, but yeah, New yeah. York is definitely it's close to the top. And as you were saying, the most affordable places, they're not the nice places. Anyways. No, absolutely not. Yeah. Like, and there's a lot of crime over there as well. People don't realise that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Awful lot of crime over there. Yeah. You really need I to have I've seen someone being you. shot on the subway. The subway got stopped and it was just shot dead, like, you know, turned into a crime scene. And people were just going, oh. Like, they were just inconven like inconvenience. inconvenienced oh, by like you, man. Got the what the fuck is that getting fucking... Oh, for fuck's sake, fuck's man. Sake, what's yeah. he had to getting killed for? Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's there bleeding out. Sorry about this, lads. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Yeah. It's crazy. I, I, I got stopped uh, in Manhattan by some fella, and I thought he was dead sound. thought he was being real sound. And he was saying, oh, do you like comedy and stuff? I was like, yeah, man, I fucking love comedy. And I bought tickets to a comedy show on, on Groupon uh, that day, and we were going that evening. And he was going on, he's like, who do you like? Do you like fucking Seinfeld and stuff? Oh, there's this place that Seinfeld used to gig at, and it does gigs on every night. And I'm like, oh, deadly, I'll have to check it out and stuff. And he's like, oh, if you want, I can sort it out with tickets. Like, And I was like, actually, no, I, have, I got a Groupon for a... We're talking there for about five, ten minutes. And I thought he was being sound. He just turns around to me then and he, I said to him, I actually have tickets, I bought them on Groupon. And he goes, well, what the fuck are you wasting my time for? And then just walked away. I was like, oh Absolutely my God. Absolutely grand, yeah. I thought you were going to say he took the tickets off. Yeah, I was no. <laughs> <the opposite>. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Dublin. It's not yeah. Dublin. Yeah. <laughs> Would have been doing well taking email tickets off. Yeah. Yeah. You take that email address now. <laughs> no, that, that's a one, not an L. All yeah. oh, right, sorry about that. You send me a screenshot now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give me yeah. that QR code. For, uh, <laughs> but yeah, it was that. And uh, How mm. long were you over there for? Three months and I had... It's not that long. <laughs> You've done a J1 in New York. Well, like, well done. Yeah, yeah. It felt <laughs> like longer. But people come back to their J1s and they're saying, oh man, I want to go back. I'm like, what sort of experience did you have that Especially I didn't? Especially in the J1. I didn't have a bleeding pot to piss in. Did you go over there on a J1? I didn't go to New York. No, I went to San Francisco. For how long? Three months? Three months, yeah, the whole summer. And, and why didn't you stay? Why didn't I stay? I had to come back and finish college. I went there at the end of my second year in college and the next time I went back over was three years later. 
Okay. And they, like when I was, go, John, when you're going through like the customs or the immigration, whatever it is, they were like, what were you doing over here the last time? Uh, did you finish college since the last time you were here and all? Because they're real peculiar, do you know what I mean? They want to see, like, is this fella chanting his arm? Are you coming over here legally? Yeah, Because yeah, I would imagine yeah, there's yeah. a lot of people who are like, I'm going on a J1 by three months and they'll stay. Yeah, you know what 100%. I mean? yeah, what they yeah. All, like, yeah. Well, not what they all do, but like... Yeah. A lot of people what they all do. No, anyone that goes to America lies yeah. just on a J1. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, it's, a, it's a, obviously a common thing, you know yeah. what I mean? People just always say that bleeding. Yeah. But you ever see 90 Day Fiancé? 90 Day Fiancé, no, I've never seen that. No, because we're grown uh, men. Yeah, well, then forget about it. Yeah. Well, come on, tell us quick. <laughs> it's just about, it's about uh, foreign people that get with Americans to get a visa. Yeah. And I feel like telling them America is not that good. Yeah. Don't, be, like, you know yeah. what I mean? But these people are probably coming from somewhere that's worse. Desperate, yeah. you know. You don't see. knock the hustle either, Job. I don't know. Yeah, but sure, look, I think we're at the roast in America enough. America's a nice place in some parts. New York is questionable. And Texas. Right, Joe, <laughs> back into you, yeah? So you came home from New York. Yes, and then I worked in a TV station then for five years. That's actually when I started doing the wind-up merch and stuff. What was happened in there? there? You and your mates were saying, you know what, come on, just start making sketches. Um, yeah, how yeah pretty much. Down? So when I was, th- there's a friend that was living in Australia. So I've been trying to get David McDermott, who's in the sketches, all right? Mm. I've been trying to get him to do videos for YouTube for a very, very long time because I think he's very funny. You would probably agree to fucking get out of your gaff. Yeah. Get out of your gaff. Yeah. Oh, he so was like... He probably won't understand that reference. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll go on to the wind up, mate. <laughs> it's called The Knock. That the video. Knock. Yeah. It's, a, it's the best yeah. video. Bookie the church at the lump dead off me, and he sits up and goes, Bookie? <laughs> That's me favourite. Like oh, that's crack, me favourite. <laughs> Bookie? Well, that's the part two coming out for that. No, that's the whole thing, isn't it? Yeah, well, he that wants to. He, David wants to do a like part that. two. David wants to do a part two. Yeah, do a part two. But, part two. but oh, what were you saying? Uh, uh, yeah, so I, I was trying to get David to do sketches for YouTube and to monetize them because Facebook videos weren't really a thing then. But he kept, mm, yeah, maybe, maybe not. And then when Rory, uh, the guy who films the wind up merges. Merchant sketches He came back from Australia And so then there was two of us Trying to pull him into doing it And then I was able to be in the videos then as well be, To make it easier Probably for David And just to have more people in the videos So then David would do it And then Daryl came in then afterwards Who was always making the sketches with us beforehand But not at the start of the wind-up merchants And then when he got involved Then it was just the three of us and mm. that deadly videos like that. Do you like them? Yeah. Class. Mm. No, they, they are. They are. Top quality. Yeah. I didn't need the one. I don't one. think you've put out one that I was like, ah, oh, that wasn't that great. Oh, Every really? single one of yeah. them was brilliant. Yeah. Oh, no way. That's fine. And you've never got paid for them, no? Well, no, no, no. It's no, Facebook no. video. It's very hard. To, you can't really make money off that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it'd be easy to advertise through that type of thing, wouldn't it? Because you would have had a decent following. Yeah, but you, what are you going to grant to someone and say, hey, I'm going to put this fucking 60 second clip up on Facebook? Do you yeah, want yeah, to sponsor yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. He's right what you're saying about YouTube, but like monetize, but. Yeah, be easy to And then Instagram became a bit more of a monster while we were building on Facebook so now we have like 60,000 followers on Facebook that mean nothing yeah do you know what I mean (laughs) fucking no followers on Instagram starting from scratch again you know but I know but it was good it was like we didn't make any money but we got a good bit of exposure like a lot of our videos got picked up by big websites at the time and yeah just got to build an audience and reputation or whatever from from them videos Mm -hmm. so did you have this idea in your head, like, oh, this is what I want to do? Because you're, you're, you're involved in media and telly. Yeah. As you're saying, all through your bleeding life at this stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is obviously a direction you wanted to go down, is it? Yeah, well, uh, <coughs> like, we started, we, like, at the start of the wind-up merchants, the plan was to build a platform that we could use to leverage maybe getting a TV show or get, mm. like, so we even done a pilot. We worked with lots of different uh, sketch comedians, including, like, Darren Conway, uh, Enya Martin, Al Ford, and we done a a pilot episode. I don't know if you've ever seen it. Did you ever see that? No? no. It's like a 30 minute pilot episode sketch show thing that we were pitching, but it didn't work out. But ultimately, that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to use it as a platform to leverage ourselves to get a TV show or to mm. use it somehow. Like so, but it didn't work out. No. But we actually have a TV, sh- uh, like an art. Myself and Darren have a, an RTE player series coming out the end of October. So I mean, just. Being in that same circle of creating content, like it sort of worked out. Yeah, in a roundabout way. You, yeah, you got yeah. in the end kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. And like, did you personally always know growing up, I want to do this? Because you said like, you came out of school, I didn't really know what you wanted to do. Yeah. Did you always have an idea like, do you know what, I want to be like a, I don't know, a comedian or whatever? I think I wanted to be an actor. 
So we used to do plays in school, like in O'Connell's, you do Oliver. Or, he yeah. used to relish in the Muir that kid. He used to love it. And I was only in the background, like it was only one of the, the tree. The, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like, carpet. I am nailing this tree. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else is. I, but yeah, he used to do that. Yeah. He used to do jokes from the, the tree, you tried to branch out. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Oh, we should be doing these sketches. You should be. <laughs> Wrap her up. I'll just leave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Terence missed that one, but go ahead. Train and leave. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't. I don't. I used to be interested in acting, and then I got involved with the youth club, Swan Youth Club around yeah. the area, and they had a film club. So we started using their equipment, and they put us through different courses and workshops and stuff, and on how to upskill. And they even sent me. I was really interested in it, and I wanted to be an editor then. And they sent me to do an editing course and film base, and they're the ones who connected us with DC TV to create TV shows, and like it just things just kept happening and you mm. kind of just stand in chance's way and things just happen. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah no, no, just yeah. Saying, well, yeah. in fairness, so you, you're saying it happened in a, a roundabout way, yeah? So mm. you're told you and you're saying you're, you're going to get into where you want to be. Yeah. Do you ever think it's too late? This is a load of bollocks. It's not happening. I feel like I'm yeah, I mean, sometimes I feel like I'm too hurry to be making sketches yeah. like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you definitely. feel like you've turned the corner recently though? Because Torn and 30 yeah. was a big one, yeah. And then Torn and 31, like from when I turned 30, it felt like it took me a lifetime to get to 30. And then 31 just hit me out of nowhere. And I'm like, oh, fuck, man. 32 is only around the corner. Like, oh. And then I'm like, I'm a man now. Mm. If, I'm not, <laughs> if I'm not making money, I like making a living off it, then What's it's the just point? embarrassing. Yeah. Like, and you're just making videos job then. Now, no? Well, I'm tr- uh, I've quit. I quit me. F- I was working with Boyle Sports as a content mad, creator. Everyone that's going to go out just seems to quit their jobs. Yeah. Did, out did you quit your job? Did me bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> Neither did I. Uh, cut that. I don't know what to do with that. We'll did discuss it afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> did you quit your job? Did you? It's a sticky situation. Okay, right, right, right. Yeah, right, move on. What the, I don't know what to say after that. <laughs> you content creator for Boyle Sports. I was content, yeah, so I made sketches and I made, I, like... I made content for that Twitter and I made videos, memes, all that sort of stuff for Boyle Sports. And then uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to be saying any of that. Uh, it's probably we'll promotion. That afterwards, trust yeah. me, I'm at the same okay. something sticky as well. Um, and then I quit that job to do this because there was a few opportunities coming up. Like there was, there was a few ads and Instagram posts, and and I, it was just getting too much between that and the kids. Uh, the the job was like walking from home, and then I just had a new kid. And it, it, it was all it was all getting too much, so I had to to quit the job. Then, mm. like you know what I mean, it was taking t- taking its toll on me mentally as well. Like, so it's not just because I wanted to do comedy or make content or something. It was just I couldn't I couldn't do a full time job and everything else. Have we everything only discussed else. this in last week's episode. We said like there's so many people nowadays leaving their jobs and taking pay cuts and things like that just. To be not happy. suffer with their mental health yeah. and be yeah. happy, Just you know. Be happy. Because a lot of jobs they they do take a toll on your mental health, you know. Like like there's these jobs where like you're afraid to ring in sick, you could be genuinely dying sick in the gaff, and you're afraid to ring 100%, and you're trying yeah. to sound more sick than you are. 100%. Just to prove the point that you're sick because you don't want to pull up with the hassle of going in. Now that I'm talking on behalf of others because yeah, you're yeah, sick, yeah, you're yeah. sick, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Especially now, but I think that'll change going forward with everything that's happening with COVID. If someone's like, yeah, I have a bit of a runny nose, so like, yeah, no problem. Yeah. You stay yeah. 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 But I but I agree with Terence, like we're actually going through generation resignation. Like people are realising that there's more important things than walking your fucking self to death. Mm, like exactly. you retire, uh, who knows what the retirement age will be when we I don't re- think I'm ever going to retire, it. but that's the truth. Like mm. people are talking about pensions and all, and I'm like, what's the point? I'm going to probably walk till the, the day I die. I'm going to be walking. But that, that's fucking crazy. Like yeah. you should just do what 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 makes you happy. Like mm. you know what I mean. It's it's a weird thing in our heads. Like the idea of what it's a pride, especially coming from a working class area. Yeah. I think there's so much pride in just having a job. Yeah, no, or just being employed. Yeah, like this is the like when we had Liam Cunningham on, he was telling us like this fella is a well acclaimed actor, and he said he gave up a job in ESB to go and pursue his dream of becoming an actor, and his dad. He said his dad shunned him, didn't he? Yeah. His dad yeah. was like, you're giving well, up a job at ESB. back then, though, especially by him, you know what I mean? That but even now, hefty, like, but yeah, people yeah. are saying, like, people are saying to us as well, like, yeah, yeah, the podcast is doing well, but be careful with the decisions you're making on. I'm like, you don't know what, like, we know, we're in tune with what's happening. Yeah, yeah. We know the direction we're going and where we can take this podcast 
and people are like, you don't want to be giving up, I don't want to be committing to that. I'm like, and a lot of people are mm. shy out of concern, you know? No, yeah, they like, have good intentions. Yeah, yeah definitely. They're coming definitely, from a good place. It's, it's the reservation like, they have. Like, yeah. oh, yeah. you have a job and all, don't rock the boat there. Yeah, like, yeah. you know, like that. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Definitely, yeah. I think it's a working class thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? It is because, definitely a working yeah. class thing because, well, I won't say because it's my dad. My dad Go died. Back. My dad died in March, and he would have uh, like this he year? didn't reach this year. Yeah, Sorry he thanks. He didn't <laughs> thanks. <laughs> he didn't reach. I don't laugh. He didn't yeah. reach retirement age. Um, so like he had a stroke and he was sick beforehand, like for about a year and a half, two years. But even after his four stroke, he just had a certain pride that he just wanted to go back to work. Yeah. I'm like, why the fuck do you want to keep walking? Like, he always knew that the strokes would eventually kill him. Like, you're gonna fucking die fairly soon. Like, don't what you? Who gives a fuck if you're walking on us? Stop walking. Just enjoy a well, little, just a little bit. Of, in him, you know? It's inst- and it's instilled in us. Like, yeah. it filters mm-hmm. down, man. It filters down. Like that walk is just so. You have to walk to be a man. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. to be a man, you mm-hmm. have to be Definitely, walking like, or have a job. Said, that's like the reason why people would be sort of saying that to us to be like, oh, be careful, especially at the start, people are like, be careful, it's because like, it's instilled in our parents and then it's instilled in us to sort of, you go to school, you go to college, if you don't go to college, you go out and get a job and there's no, you're sitting on the lab, you're fucked out of the gap. Yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? So it's go to school, go to college or get a job and that's it and make your weekly wage and that's it. Mm. You're set for life, have your family settle down with that. So if you dream bigger, it's almost like, like be careful. Don't get ahead of yourself. Yeah, yeah. relax yourself, relax, big yeah. fella. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, Just yeah, bleeding. Yeah, yeah. You have your weekly wage. Be happy. You know what I mean? Where yeah. I think nowadays we're getting better at that. Like where people sort of know the worth, if that makes sense. Or like, do you think, do you think we're getting better at it though? I think so. Yeah. I think to yeah. an extent. Yeah. 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 How many I think people are getting worse, man? How many people do you know that gave up their worse. job to pursue something? Like, you know what I mean? And. Or how many people actually branched out into something like? But even travelling and emigrating, I know we're emigrating because they were fucked over the government and yeah. shit like that. We won't go into it. But I know that's the case. But I know a lot of people who are just emigrating just to be happy. Yeah. Like you know, people who are just leaving their shit jobs. Who they hate that nine to five. No, not every nine to five. I'm just saying that shit nine to five. Then they hate it, and they're just like fuck that. I'm going to the boy. I'm yeah. becoming a session. I'm only messing. <laughs> but, <laughs> yes. but you know what I mean? Like, or a teacher. So or a teacher. It. Like, people are going to Dubai, like, they're earning more over to teach there English. in one year to teach yeah. English, yeah. 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 Which is a weird one because it's like, do you speak English yet? Okay, you can be a teacher now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and we can <laughs> barely speak Calvin. English. Like. Yeah, we're I struggling. I can't do I don't, when I said this before, when I meet someone new and walk and they'd be like, oh, uh, am I saying this correct? Because they'd be foreign and English wouldn't be that first language. And I'd be like, me. Don't ask me, because English is not even my first language, I said. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Dublin is my first language. I butcher English. Like. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, yeah this is the thing. I think, I think we are getting better at it, Joe. At pursuing uh, that pursuit of happiness kind of thing, isn't it? Let's get yeah. philosophical about this. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if you are, because I know a lot of people that are. I mean, they're not even earning a whole lot more than if they were on the labour. And I know that they want to do other stuff, but they're like working part time to get a little bit extra than what the labour is rather than just taking the leap of faith, quitting your job and focusing on what, yeah. what you can do and what you what you love and what you can potentially make more money from mm. in the long run. But I don't know if I don't know if we are getting better at it. Maybe we are, I don't know. That's just that's just my yeah, opinion. No, like, but that's, it, yeah, when you think me, about it like that, yeah. It took me like a, a really it took me to a fucking breaking point to come to that conclusion for myself personally. Do you think that like, was because you know? that was instilling you from you at that of the, like you're even it, looking at your dad the idea, on his I mean, bed, like but, wanting to walk, wanting to walk, wanting to walk, and then that goes down to that you. Was like, a whole, that was part of it, yeah. yeah. Like that was part of it. Like I was there when my dad, uh, the, they only let like one person in at a time because of COVID. Like, uh, so I got to see him as he was dying. And then once he passed, I went back up in the morning and I seen him as he was dead. So you're kind of seeing life being here. And, like life is here. And death is there. It's like, yeah. Very thin line. It's so thin. Yeah. It's so thin. And it's like, why are you stressing so much in your life? Like, it can happen so easily. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, to anyone at any age. It's it's so it's so fleeting. Like, sounds so cliche, but like, life is absolutely fleeting. And what the fuck are you wasting your time doing? What for? Like, I mean, what, like, walking a shit job that you don't like. You're committing so much. You only have, somebody showed me a stupid YouTube video of and a lot of M&M's. And it's like, these are the days that you have to live. You only have a, f- a finite amount of days. Yeah. Half of them, nearly half of them are gone on sleeping. Yeah. So take that away. 
half of that then is gone on walking. More than half of that has gone on walking. The other half has gone on like family stuff and like all different. You've this much time to yourself to do what actually just makes you happy, like a tiny, tiny bit. And we choose to just walk yeah. that time till there's that. There's fucking nothing like it. Mm. You get what, a holiday? You go on a two-week holiday in a year? Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's crucial to have a good work-life balance. And I know I know a lot of people that are happy when they're working. Like, mm. in work, they love it. They it eat. I mean, if you enjoy what you're doing, yeah. great. Like, well, then great. Well, it's not work. It's not work, then. You need to be able to separate that work-life. Because yeah. I know work an awful lot of people who, who work hard and are very good at their job, but then they go home and they can't stop thinking about their job and yeah. they can't stop yeah. thinking about the next step and what you have to deal with the next day is workload and all this it's like relax like. I mean look alone he's miserable yeah. <laughs> that's why he's bald yeah he had how many signs <laughs> we'll imagine that but uh, now that's what you say about the, the day isn't it it's a 24 hour day it's 8 hours of sleep 8 hours of work and 8 hours of recreational then mm. is well, it 8 hours well, of recreational that's, that's take 2 hours for fucking commuting yeah like, yeah, uh, that's it's, what I'm saying it's, it's insane like, you, you were saying Joe yeah it took you to nearly a breaking point mm. to realise this so do you want to tell us about what happened there? Ah, it was just, just the, like when I was, like I was saying, when I was walking, ah, it's the so, there was so there's so much to it. Go, Chris. when <laughs> the <laughs> second he's going to jump, don't push him. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought he was going to go. Oh, that was too much. I was like, no, good into it. We're waiting. <laughs> it's a podcast. <laughs> uh, the what? Well, so so me, me dad died in March, and then that was obviously hard. Then. I can't even remember now if my second child was... Either way, it was like two weeks in the difference. Uh, me, me dad died and my child was born two weeks apart. And there was... There was there was complications with his birth, but there was also complications, big complications, big, big complications with the fourth child's birth. And then that kind of brought shit up then. And then the, there was just stress on the relationship, me relationship with the missus. And then... Shit, the shit that went on with the bird, and then me dad, and then I'm I'm like here trying to fucking tweet funny tweets for boil sports, and I'm I'm trying trying to I, I, there was just so much going on in me fucking head that I just it got it got it got, down, it got too much for me. I got like I was just overwhelmed with with everything. There was other stuff going on as well, and it was just uh, overwhelming, and I, I just ah just and you know end up going to a hospital to. Cause I thought I might do something to myself, and yeah, that's that's that was the breaking point. Like I was gonna do something to myself, and then uh, chose not to, and called PA a house, and they told me because I've I'd never even considered anything like that before. I never even thought I'd have those those oh, thoughts. Yeah. And so then I called PA a house, and they were like, "What's the story?" I was like. I've I never. Know. I yeah. felt like I was calling a, a hotline, yeah. <laughs> like a. Oh, I've never done this before. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, "What you were?" <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, "I don't know what to say." Like, and he's like, "Are you gonna do something?" Uh, like, lead me into. It. I'm like, "Oh yeah, 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 yeah." That's what it, yeah. I, I was. I was. I was like, "I'm afraid of what I, I might do." And then they told me to go to to A and E, and then I went to A and E, and that. That was even a bad experience. I don't like. I don't know if he's had any experience with like the mental health services in Ireland. Not Have with them, no. No, not with the public ones. No, so bad, man. Mm. And it's well, so bad. I think it's kind of broadcast out there that they are so bad, isn't it? Like oh, and I, I used to think. It can't be that fucking bad. Mm. Like it's not. It's how's it bleeding bad? We have so so many so health many, services. Yeah. So I went to the A and E place. You know the way it's in a shelter because of COVID or whatever, and she had a mask on. I had a mask on. She had the voices and everything. She couldn't really hear me. There was a queue of people behind me for the she, same reason, like not for the oh, same for reason. A &E, so it's just A and E, like just checking in at A and E. And I'm not going in with my arm or anything like this. So it's not obvious what happened. She's like, "You're right." And then I was like embarrassed. I was like, "I was told to come here." And she's like, "What?" It's like I was told told to come here. And then she was like, "By who?" I was like, "PA PA house." <laughs> and she's like, "Who?" I was like, PA house. And she was like, Peter? I'm mm. like, I was going to do... Like smiling it's, down all, but that's, like sh that's an awful situation. It was so embarrassing, right? That yeah. is shocking. And it shouldn't and be. And I had to shout, I had to basically say, I was going to kill myself, like, you know what I mean? You had to fucking broadcast that's it. That's fucking to, shocking, that is. It, it, it was so bad. I, like, that's that's only one step of the... That, uh, by the end of it, I was going to see counsellors and stuff afterwards, and then I went into a... I went into a counsellor in... 
a GP's kind of office in a, a, and he was talking to me. This, I mean, I don't even know how to explain the story. I just think it's so fucking crazy. I was, he was asking me about that. And again, I, I don't know about you, but I feel really uncomfortable talking about like that sort of mm. shit. Well, like, we've done it a, a, enough on this. We've opened up a lot. Right. So okay. I think we're more comfortable now. But right. I can relate because the first time I seen a council, I was like that. You know, you have your jitters and, and that. And then what's wrong? And you're like, yeah. well, you fucking tell me. Yeah, like, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, you're yeah, you're yeah, the professional. Yeah. And you're just like... They talk to you about your situation and how life is going, and then when you say it, you feel embarrassed saying it. Yeah. But at the same time, you're like, right, I said it. Uh, see you next week. Yeah. And you're gone, yeah. and you're like, right, what, what even happened there? And yeah. they're just saying like little simple things to you, but it feels so. I don't want to say degrading, but it feels like you're so small. Demoralizing. It feels yeah. like humiliating. And you're like, I came to you for like a hug. Yeah. Not, but yeah, not yeah, a physical yeah. hug. I yeah. just wanted you to say. Everything's going to be all right. You're going to do this and it's going to get better. Whereas yeah. it was more of a struggle saying it to them yeah. than what you were actually going through, you know? And well, I think there's, like, there's a method to it, you get me? Like, I like, don't know. It could be better. Half. I think it could be better. I, so I, listen, I to, this, so listen be better. to this story. Yeah. Listen to this story. I was in talking to the GP or whatever, the counsellor. I was in yeah. talking to the counsellor and he was sitting there and he was asking me questions, the generic questions like, how are you feeling? Mm. And then I thought he was looking down and I thought he was writing notes and stuff like that. And then I was telling him, uh, he was like, how's your family and stuff? I was like, oh, well, growing up this, that and the other. And then there was big pauses in between the end of my sentence and the start of his next question. No. And then eventually... <laughs> I, don't, I think I know. Don't say this. Go on. Eventually, he asked me a, a question. Don't, don't even know what it was. And I just gave him the generic answer or whatever because I'm like, I, I just want to get through this fucking interview, basically, yeah. is what it was. It wasn't a conversation or anything like it. It's not how conversations work, is it? Like, um, I, I, I finished my sentence and there was a girl sitting there. She was only training, which I felt was a bit... I didn't m feel comfortable with that either. Uh, but then I looked up at him and he was looking down at his notes. And then I realised, like, he's not he's not looking down on his notes. He wasn't on a phone. He was asleep. Oh, was he? He fell no, asleep. I was going to say he was scrolling on a phone. No, 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 no. What he do fell you mean asleep. He fell asleep. He was like that, dozed off. And you. And then you. you what's won't, the next? You won't say his name. I can't remember his name. Like, let's just say Anthony, Anthony. And then he just went. And then just went to the next question. He was asleep. He was fast asleep. And what did you do? Oh, he was just in shock. Did I was you not say to him? I said, I just said to myself, this is incredible like mm. the whole pr the whole process along the way now it's important not so to paint bad. the picture that every councillor is like that sure yeah, because sure, I've sure. been to council and it's unbelievable and it was very very good for me and it helped me at that time so but that like see I'd be the type of person to say to him you're a fucking rude cunt for that yeah yeah like mm. that's like I just wanted to get out of there I just wanted to get out of there but I would like, literally I, like I'd have to say that to him I'd have yeah. to say are you winding me up like yeah. I still couldn't really believe it that's or madness like, the fuck it's mad, like yeah, no, but there is good counselors out there. Oh, like I went, course, I went to, yeah. I went to some good counselors, mm -hmm. and they, like, there was one who like gave me a diagnosis and kind of put things into perspective. And I was like, all oh, right, okay, so kind of saying like you actually have. P I thought so. We have or had. I don't even know how it works. Like had PTSD right. from stuff that happened to me son, and then stuff that happened in, in my past. Oh, and, obviously, and, like, yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. So I didn't even know. That. Yeah, and then when they said it, I'm like, "Fuck, how can no you have PTSD?" Fucking, yeah, like, no wonder you're at a melting point here. Yeah, no wonder yeah. it's so all this pressure has built up. It, it validates how you're feeling. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? It, it puts a, a label on it. It's like, right, this is what there's actually there's actually something wrong with you. Yeah, and yeah, you're yeah. like, all oh, right, okay. If you like so going to the doctor and be like, "My arm is killing me," and I don't know what's wrong, they say, "Oh well, do you know what? This is actually what happened." To you. And you're like, "Oh yeah, it makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah Grant, yeah. I know what to do now." Yeah. And yeah. if they do that, and some people just need that clarity. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's a bit. This is what trauma prognosis. And I think that's a lot. A lot, that's the big thing with depression you know people are like I don't know why I can't get out of bed today and that's what's killing people and when you strip like, her all back then you're like well this is actually what's wrong with you this this and this and I know I said the the first counselling session I had and how bad the experience was but the more I went back they like they ask you what you're doing with your day today, and they ask you like try this and you tweak one thing and that leads to another good habit and then it puts you on the right road and then you're like you know what why did I even go there? Because it's actually so simple what I need to do. Yeah. And I, that's how I felt. Just you know when what you mean? break it down. When you then. break it down, it's not that much. Uh, like, you know what? It's not that bad. And I then all you this. want to do is share that then. Yeah, I can do so this, you know? you know? And that's why we always say to people, like, don't be, go to a counsellor. That's what they're there for. Yeah. They're literally professionals designed 
to listen to what your problem and, is. Uh, and you might not like the first, the second, or the third counsellor you go there, but you, you'll find the right counsellor that suits you. Mm. I've and had a, I've, I haven't. I've had a nightmare experience. Yeah. All the, all the, way, the, the, the one that I went to who said that I had PTSD was private and very expensive and I can't afford her. Right. And then she recommended me to another fella. He called me, said that he couldn't take me. He was in Mountjoy Square somewhere. So then he referred me on to someone in Bowmount. They called me, said that they couldn't take me. And I'm just getting, I got fed up at this stage, like gone on to the GP. The GP then put me on to the fella who fell asleep. And I'm just like, just give me the fucking pills, make me feel better and just fucking, I, I still haven't, I haven't really, I still don't think I've dealt with mm. the underlying conditions, but You're I feel like I'm, I'm coping with yeah. it. But it could, fl it's like having a fucking rash or something. But it could so flare when up. You like learn that it is the PTSD. It's sort of like, like you know what it is. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, And then yeah. you will get better and continue to grow with it. Yeah. And like learn. Mm. How I to think help I, 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 eventually I probably will go back to a counselor as well. If, well, I mean, uh, it'd be nice to have one that I trust well, or something. You, but you it's will just a pain in the arse. Like. You know what I mean? Look, my, I, I don't want to say who it was, but a certain person that I closed, they said that it was six counselors. Like the sixth counselor, being the five, and was like, like, it's not doing anything for me it's just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And, but it was like like this is the last straw I don't give a fuck I went and it's like it was the best thing I ever did yeah. but, but you not know? necessarily getting hung up on a council like find someone you can come find it you know yeah, what I mean? some yeah. people get that in a relationship someone might look to their partner or someone they know or a relative or a good friend yeah. and they can get they can get advice from them and they get confined in that you know? someone who's going through or gone through something similar yeah. is better this fucking yeah. podcast than than has been that for well, yeah. 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 this podcast somewhere. has been fucking unbelievable and then and not even just on it off it with, some, with like some of the guests we've had on like and sit down and that's sort of like you sort of just have a chat so I'm a real open book so I've I had loads of chats like, and like one that comes to mind straight away is Willie Wee, Will I Wee, who was on. He brilliant comedian, very funny, unbelievable bloke, but he's very open like myself as well. He rings me twice a week, boys. Yeah. And he's like, how's your mental health? How's the head? How's the loaf of bread? How's things? Yeah. Boom, see you after. Once you go, pal, you need that and ring me. And it's just like that. And it's like, yeah. it's madness that we met people like that. But then, like, we've had some guests who are, like, really in tune. And they're like, that's tr childhood trauma. That's, like, drug they intake know exactly and drink what intake. What yeah. And they're sort of just saying to me, like, well, you've took this amount of blade and drink and drugs through your, through your life ground up and you've had this childhood trauma so of course you're going to feel this way yeah. and I'm learning all this off this podcast yeah 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 but as well look I still went to counselling and still needed that counselling as well to sort of just express anything yeah. like that so it's unbelievable you know mm -hmm. and to be told that your childhood like you think your childhood is normal, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. You don't question it because it's your child. It is what's it's normal you know. to you. Yeah. It's all you know. Yeah. But when somebody, when you sit down with somebody and you explain your childhood and you explain your past, and they turn around to you and you say, "That's not normal," you kind of say. Oh, wait, it's not, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. fucking mad, actually. Exactly. Like, you know what I mean? It's that's not normal. Like, and that's a good acknowledgement. It's good to acknowledge that sometimes. Like, and yeah. to be told it as well is, yeah, in, is it, for me was kind of like enlightening. It was like, oh, fuck, yeah, Jesus, that's mm. that was a bit mad. Maybe that <laughs> is where it was. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. Because, like, as a kid, I never, like, or all of us probably didn't see a problem. And then when you get to an older age, you're like, fuck me, man, that was actually a bit, yeah. that was a bit mad, like, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's, I don't know if you had it, like, after having kids, you kind of think, fuck, yeah, how did bleeding How did I get treated like that? Yeah, or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, like, so fucking sad, like, you yeah. know what I mean? When you actually think of it. Imagine your child going through that, like. Yeah. It's mad. It, it's not, and this is what this is what we're saying, Joe. Yeah. So I don't think a lot of people actually realise this how deep and what's going on behind the scenes with you. People probably say that's that mad fellow off the sketches, or he's the funny fella who does the podcast with Arden. You know what I mean? Like this. This, this was this uh, like. This was little, Lily, you yeah. know what I mean? Because like, you're out there putting smiles in everyone's face. It's like tears of a clown, you know, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no it, feels like that it feels like that sometimes. It feels like that sometimes. Do you know? Uh, so... I was in hospital with me first child Oliver and it, it was traumatic and I was in tears and I was mm. going downstairs to tell the, the missus man and dad like came, they were in tears, I was in tears, the missus was in tears, everyone was in tears. I went down to explain what happened to the man and dad and then somebody was like, oh no way, you do the videos. Mm. And I was like, not now, like yeah, not, not right fucking time. now, like, you know. Yeah. And when all that happened, it was uh, the Vodafone Comedy Festival was on in 2018. And I, w I, w I wanted to perform at it. And I was like, I'm going to fucking perform at that. And I seen the po the posters were all over the, the area at that time. And I'm like, I'm going to fuck, my name's not on the poster, but like, I'm going to fucking perform at that. And almost in spite because my name wasn't on the poster, I really wanted it. But then when all that shit went down, I'm like, why the fuck do I give a fuck yeah. about making people laugh? Mm. Like, why the fuck do I care about well, other people? It's unbelievable that you do. 
Mm, you know yeah. what I mean? Like you're out there without realizing it, or without any of that. Like you, you are. Like there's, you're putting smoke. Like we can quote faces. your videos word for word. Do you know what I'm thinking about that? There's people, people out there. Yeah. And they're it's probably insane when you think about it. Like, you don't, you don't well. get that. Like your little sixty seconds clips and yeah. making people's days. And like, there's been times I went back through them videos, I especially saw, when yeah. you put up a new video yeah. and then like under it, all the old ones pop yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's entertainment. That's like. To me, that's an hour's worth of laughing. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're the same as this talking bollocks, though. You probably don't realise what you're saying or don't who you're flirting, affecting. Joe. <laughs> yeah, don't be flirting. <laughs> It'd be the same, though. You yeah. know what I mean? You don't you don't realise what you're saying to who, who's listening. Like, mm. this is a conversation between three that's people. But it's a conversation go. between fucking, I don't know, thousands, many thousands of people. Anyways, and that's yeah. like, like your, your videos, like somebody's probably in that bad frame of mind and then they watch your videos for that minute or two minutes or however long they are. It takes them away from that. Yeah. Yeah. Do you get me? And, yeah, it's and a bit of a escape, yeah. laugh, You know? Look, well, come I didn't expect this to go this way, but no. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Was it good? It was nice to show I think it was, yeah. It was unbelievable. It's a, if you had a bit longer, Joe, I think this could have easily went another hour. But easily. Yeah, yeah. Um, another time, please. Part go. two. Part two, definitely. Come yeah, out. yeah. Before we wrap up, plans for the future? Uh, number one podcast. Right. Uh, t- so we'll, we'll, <laughs> you'll, you'll, you'll settle for number two. We'll go ahead. <laughs> number one slash two uh, podcast with Starla. Want to do live shows like as ourselves. Mm. Um, that could be a nice one too uh, you know what I mean I think you, just like a goal out presents and then you get two podcasts back to back that'd be good yeah, that'd that sell out the old that's a good idea that's a good idea that's a good idea I think we're under a winner here <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the RTE original series is coming out at the end of October so we're excited to get that out and maybe get another season out of that Gonna make more. I want to do more stuff with the wind up merchants, so hopefully that kind of comes back to life. I know the lads want it as well, so maybe get a couple of sketches with yourselves. 100%. We're looking for a sketch. Yeah. We're waiting for an invoice. How long now, Terence? A couple of weeks now, yeah. Joe. Yeah. <laughs> it's and in well, the letterbox. Keep, yeah, yeah, keep going in the letterbox. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, just that keep acting the bollocks. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Talking and, bollocks. And talking bollocks. Talk. Right. Yes, for a closer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, pleasure, right, Joe. we'll take us out there, Johnny. Boom! Subscribe to this podcast for free on the Go Loud app. What you waiting for? Put your back in it. Just a little more. Call your wings in the now. Fill your body, your head. Walk it hard and long. When you finish that. The Hip Knocker. Long, cut down.